Please no swearing. <laughs> Are we live? We are live. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't even know. Hi, guys. Hello. Welcome to the best podcast in the world. Fuck Logan Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Good start. Good start. Yeah. Let's go. First swear word. Yeah. We, we definitely should get a jar. And just yeah, yeah. In, Look, stick it in front of Stu. We'll Did put a money jar just on the side there. A forfeit just jar. Just as close to Stu as we can. Did you not get a beat noise? Beat noise for what? It's live. How do I know when you're going to say the oh, F yeah. word? You could just slow it down. Like that. <laughs> it, 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 it's say, what it's happened to that um, light that you had that said on air? Um, oh. It's out there in a box. Ah, you see. I feel like you could have asked that within the past. <laughs> yeah, time. yeah. We've been Before here for like three hours setting this up and <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't come up in conversation, did that one? Hang on. Hang on. We've been here three hours <laughs> setting it up. You've been here three hours. So you've been setting it up. You've sat there like a diva. Y- you know. <laughs> whoop, whoop. You know how things work. Yeah. So I'm not as technically minded as you guys. No, but you can, you can lift and put. Well, I, I'm not as technically minded as, like, Dale, but I didn't see Stu putting much effort in either. Oh, yeah. That old chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did well, did Stuart, to be honest. Pull your tongue out my ass, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should be introducing us then. Well... No one knows who you are, so go for it. Everyone knows who I am. What are you on about? <laughs> Have I seen you on YouTube? No, definitely not. Yeah. No, Crime no Watch. Seen him on YouTube. Crime Watch, possibly. Um, why don't we start from this side here? Them, the big man. Uh-huh. We've got Dale Wilkinson. He's a Sagittarius. Why, why are we going <laughs> to introduce ourselves? <laughs> you are. All right. We'll introduce what we should do is, in- this is Paul Young. introduce you, Sen, and uh, give five facts about yourself. I uh, like that. Maybe three. We'll start with Paul. Yeah, three, yes. three, three. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't got, I ain't got five. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a chan- you three chance to think about your five yeah, things. Yeah, but if your three facts are bollocks, I'm going to call you out. All right. Factual, uh, factual, factual facts. All right. Um, well, my name's Paul Young. I'm, my middle name is uh, Austin. Still I'm just going to put that one out there. Uh, I'm a Pisces. I'm uh, not married, but I've got six kids. <laughs> and... Um, well, what what's my purpose here? Fuck knows. I, I <laughs> I'm like a team representative. That's what I am. I can't I, five things about myself. Um, I'm good at painting. I can draw a picture. That's that's no, one good thing. How I can, can draw we get a picture. Shane in for painting. How can we get Shane to replace Paul? Because you can't weigh painting. Yeah. Plus, these chairs are exactly the most expensive. Other these lazy boy ones are comfy. I don't know. Let's move on. Uh, uh, go on, Jason. Paul, go this be your idea. You start five facts about right, yourself. Right, um, five is definitely five, three. Five, five facts. Uh, I don't think you've got facts. five interesting facts. Go with no, a three, Paul. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go with three. Uh, I'm good at painting. Um, I got two A levels. Um, my dad's called Paul Young as well. That's three solid. Facts. He's not a singer though. He's a bus driver. Go on, Jace. Are you a singer? I can hold a note. What note? Don't Mono- believe you. <laughs> a <beep>. monotone note. <laughs> 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 uh, my name is Jason Jews. Uh, I drive. How about that one? That is a fact. That's two. Um, I. What do you drive, Jace? I drive a VW Passat. That's what I drive. Low Slammed and ting. Solid choice. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Airbags and that. Um, so what else? What else could I say? Interesting. It doesn't, have to, be, it doesn't have to be interesting. Just a fact. Perhaps okay. your job role. I've got a lizard. I've got a lizard. What's his Called name? Phil. <laughs> what kind of a lizard? Is a crested gecko. Phil McCracken. Phil, well, Philip. Is actually. there an actual difference between a gecko and a crested gecko? Does but it have your surname? Well, <laughs> is it I Philip guess so. I, it, Philip Jews? Yeah, Phil Jews. I guess so. I guess he does, yeah. yeah. Philip Jews. Philip Jews. <laughs> only only, <laughs> a, only on a Sunday. I can't yeah. come back with anything witty because you've got a fucking gecko called Philip Jews. It's pretty fucking cool, I'm not going to lie. Mm. Well, that's it. He sounds famous. That's three. We're sticking with three. Let's stick with three. Is it on to me now? It's on to you now, pal. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you one. He used to be the first handsome man solid, in vaping and then got taken format. over. This is a solid format. <laughs> My name is Stu, known as Stu Vapes. Uh, well, Stu Games as well. Stu Games. Yeah. I work for the Ultra Vapor. I'm engaged and I've got a four-year-old daughter. Go me. I'm going to steal money. 
I felt like an applause, would you? Have you got an applause button? That one. Go on. That one. Yeah. No, that's not <laughs> that was the wrong button. That was the wrong button. I'm still laughing at you. I'm still laughing. Listen to the girl at the end, though. Oh. <laughs> I'm still laughing at you. Uh, my name's Dale. Uh, I am not a Sagittarius. That um, isn't a fact. It is. Well, it is, yeah. Pisces. <laughs> are you a Pisces as well? I'm a Pisces. What are you? My as birthday's opposed to Sagittarius. On Saturday. Yeah. When's your birthday? First of March. Right. So Wait. it's fucking seven days before <clears throat> mine then. Just after think mine. About that. No, yeah, mine's seven days after yours. No, we should six have had days. a days. Is it a leap year? Don't know. Are we in, are we in a leap year? No. So it's six days after mine. So of course we're the same star sign. I don't think it's a leap year. One last year, a leap year. I feel like we've gone on a tangent. I've gone off on one. Yeah. I, well, another fact, I have a dog. <laughs> uh, and a six-year-old child. Hey. That is mine. Hey. Where's that, the, where's that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Get the sharper. <laughs> got yeah, yeah. How long is this one? Oh, oh <laughs> the little fade. Guys, before we go any further, if everyone can like and share this video, share it out to some pages, share it onto your personals, wherever you want. Uh, onto you can, your personals? Onto your personals. You can also follow us on YouTube and Twitch. It's twitch.tv forward slash the underscore Yorkshire underscore Vapor. And uh, we're on YouTube as well, so we're live on all three all three platforms. If you want to drop it a share and get involved, then that will be shook. And there'll be more platforms coming soon. We've we'll figured it out. This is going to be a thing now. So every Monday, we are going to be doing uh, a lot of comps as well, or even there. And uh, we're going to be talking about anything you want us to talk about. Well, we have got some questions what have been asked, and uh, we're going to get into them, man. So if you want to ask any questions in the comments, go for it, man. Want to know about any of us or anything we do or anything in life, let's go, man. Any we have topic. got a telephone eventually, haven't we? Well, we, we, we've got a shit ton planned. We've got I think challenges for you guys. Oh, Definitely challenges Whoa. No, you guys for us people are yeah. watching oh for them challenges and competitions for them we also have challenges for the people in this room not including me yeah um, we have lightsabers we have a phone in phone we should have got them lightsabers have, in here because we had a right battle before this show started fucked up the other day we have a live music studio being built on the back of this room and They're people didn't know about that how many viewers we got <laughs> oh, it definitely is it's definitely working we just forgot to um got these two chat screens and it doesn't auto scroll that's a ball ache are you sponsoring people potentially stuart's got one of them asmr voices i think what the right you've said that what the frig is that it sounds like an ai no, no 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 this is <laughs> what you know you're when you do. do awkward sounds like so you have to speak really quiet you have to whisper <laughs> and you can hear the saliva in your ears. My mate Joe's pops on Dale. Do you remember when you nicked frozen burgers out of my freezer? Yeah, and I remember when I gave them back as well. So, you know, I either gave them back or I apologised. One <laughs> or the other. Question for Stuart. Have you lo lowered the noise gate? What's the noise gate? Jason. I'm not getting into this right now. <laughs> but I'll tell you what we'll do, guys, right? Everyone that shares this video, if we can get 100 viewers, everyone that shares it will pick someone to uh, win something. I don't know what. Yeah. Like a treat for a fir for the first of yeah, for the yeah. first one. What we could do is run a competition and um, like get somebody from the audience in. You know what I mean? Yeah, as a guest. We've How got going to do that with a phone and a SIM card. Tell you what else mm. we've done. Fi what happens if we hit hit uh, five hundred likes? What Ooh. happens? Hang on, we got we got we've actually oh, got a new guy here. Happens. So Stuart Hunter, he said I'm a YouTuber. Hi Stuart. Over eight k subs. Maybe we could have a chat anytime, bro. That sounds good. We're for that. a chat. What's your Slip YouTube channel? Stu's DMs. Paul thinks he's a YouTuber. He's only got... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get into the YouTube game. He's been trying for a few years. There's actually a lot of new faces in here. So hello, welcome to everyone. We are the Yorkshire Vapor. This is the best podcast in the world. And uh, you're a good hunter, Stu. You're good, Stu. Hunter. Yeah, yeah. As Predators in, like, Do you go out with a bow and arrow and stuff and uh, go kill deer? Stu is watching himself. I'm watching the comments. Because... Dale's not going to sit there and keep doing well, it. Well, I have. I've the, right, just to clarify, there's two screens here with the comments on. Stu wouldn't want to look at this. He'd rather look at a fucking tiny phone. So that sounds like a Stu problem. <laughs> SJH Sports. Is there a way on this um, screen where we can see how many viewers we've got? 
Yeah, Dale's controlling it from a bit. Mm, yeah, there, no. It's not yeah, on your screen. Yeah, there is, but no, it's, it's not really a concern. So can we go back to it? What happens when we hit 500 likes? I'll help you out in the YouTube game, fella. Switch to it. I'll tell I'm, you what I'm you glad they keep that's changing the subjects. Ah, oh, yeah, so I know. Yeah, Stu keeps that. changing the subject. I feel we need to hone on this. If we get 500 likes on this video, oh, yeah. and a lot of shares will help that, Mr. Paul Young live will have his nipple pierced. And if we can do this li by, by Friday, I have a friend coming down to visit us this weekend who is a qualified piercer. Mm -hmm. What are they going to put in there? They're going to put one of them well, rings a on a bar. A needle. Well, in fact, we'll let you choose. Like we're not unreasonable. Like you choose. We'll how let you the want audience. To we'll let the audience choose which nipple. Yeah. Oh God, that's <laughs> a tough one. Is that because I'd rather it be this Paul, nipple than this Paul, nipple? Paul, we're not asking. There's too much going on over this side though. Like I'd rather have like a bit of uh, bling bling. Yeah, yeah, a bit of bling bling. I wonder if they do like a hoop with a diamond on it. So you look like well, a full twat. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not like a diamond diamond, like a cubic zirconia. A Swarovski. Yeah, full, yeah, yeah, yeah. Full yeah, yeah. One of them ones. Elizabeth Duke. <laughs> nah, I got his own thing. Fucking hell, I haven't bought anything Elizabeth Duke since I was 16 and try and get a bit. Do you remember Warren James as well? Warren James. That's still a thing. Is it? Yeah. <clears throat> they used to be one of them in I, I bought uh, rings Saint from there and told people there were thousands. Yeah. Like, they definitely want them about 40 quid. You could go in and get a bling bling fat gold chunky chain on your wrist and that for like about 100 quid and come out and tell everyone it cost you about two grand. Until your wrist went green. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until it rubbed off in back. Do you remember, you'll probably remember, you might remember this, Pudsey Leisure Centre used to have that, um, it, as soon as you walked in, Paul, they were like a, a vending machine thing. One of them was a jewellery vending machine, and that shit definitely turned your shit green for <laughs> months. Yeah, I've got a ring. Look at my sick ring. I'm losing my finger. <laughs> <laughs> my finger's I'm leaving my body. real hovering. Lisa said, don't diss Warren James. Why does she work there? Well, she might shop there. Maybe. Lisa Nicole uh, Sheridan, don't diss Warren James. Thousand likes if, and thousands. If, if this uh, video gets enough shares and it gets 500 likes, if we hit 100 viewers and enough shares and eventually by next weekend gets 500 likes, Paul Young will get his nipple pierced live. You've got your I nipple pierced. I absolutely pierce, won't get I a fucking Prince pierced. Albert piercing. There is no way someone's going in my cock. And that was by choice as well. I didn't have to get no 500 likes for it. What, what's the pain It'd like? It'd have to be a stud. <laughs> what? <laughs> the feeling, the feeling of yeah, getting your nipple pierced <laughs> is the feeling. Hello, Liam. If someone put in a needle uh, through your nipple. We've actually got a question here. Imagine that. Dial, any plans to expand, expand, expand the Nick Salt range? Um, if I'm honest, we're not going to expand it, but we are going to add extra flavours because <laughs> expand isn't a word. Um, so uh, we are going to expand it. We actually spoke about this recently with the addition of the new fizzy bubblies and mm -hmm. with the new, new, new fizzy new, bubblies new, new, that new. aren't there yet. With another four that's coming out. I think a lot of them are going to go into it and maybe a few desserts. We must have... Do we have a sound effect? Do we have a sound oh, effect press for that? Press a button that you haven't pressed yet. No, because some of them just go on. Press the button. Well, nice turned it down, button. remember. So turn it back up. Turn it back up there. Ever so slightly. Oh, we'll play that when Paul talks. The birds. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Lady Gary. Cricket. There is yeah, a tumbleweed thank you, sound. Oh. Yeah, so guys, if there's any questions or any topics you would like us to talk about, hit us up right now, man, and keep sharing his feed out there. Let's go. Didn't you have some questions from earlier on? I have got some questions, yeah. He has got some questions. Yeah. Jason had some questions wrote down, didn't he? I didn't mind. Well, mine are just pretty random questions that I just thought I'd spit by. <laughs> yeah. Random. Random. Where's your, pa where's your paperwork? Thank you. I don't need no paperwork. Thank no. you to oh, everyone. Oh, shared, oh, mate. Mate. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Everyone that shared the feed, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I've got a few questions, actually. Uh, actually. Will you be adding any more flavours to the gummy bear range? Um, possibly. I, I don't, the, it's not a plan. It's, it's one, one of those ranges where you could go forever. You could. There's so many flavours. Gummy. Yeah. You know what I mean? You could. It'd work. Um, pineapple Michael, has been asked for Michael quite a has lot. asked, what's your favourite pizza topping? One that doesn't get stuck. You have to <laughs> pick one, though. You can't pick... Mm. And if any of you say pineapple, I'm leaving. I agree. Pineapples don't belong on a pizza. No, it doesn't. I'm just straight margarita, me. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. is like... <laughs> you know what I'm getting at. I'm just leaving it there. That's proper ready salted, that. Though, you reckon? Like, yeah. Just plain. Mm. Oven plain. baked chips. But, but you can't go wrong. Everyone likes margarita. Well, anyone vegan. who says I don't like margaritas talking shit because every pizza you have is margarita with toppings. 
So um, it's like those weirdos who say, I'm having a, I'm having a pizza, but no cheese. It's like, it's not fucking pizza then, is it? Mm. Christopher Middleton has said, with all, with all Dale's education, as we know, he's a clever man. What made him get into the vape industry? Luck. Pure luck. Well, no, not luck. Well, it weren't. It was it to was. save yourself money. Yeah. yeah I, I was... Uh, there's a lot of people done the same as I did. Just, uh, quit smoking because it was too expensive. It was too expensive. Went on to vaping. Realised vaping was really expensive back then, and made some for me, made some for friends, and just kind of. It was a lot more expensive then when yeah, I, when I we first started getting into vaping. Which, it was. Well, without obviously naming them, the shop we used to use um, was the same shop, I believe, mm -hmm. initially, mm -hmm. and um, a, f a fifteen mil of it was avant garde, heavenly vanilla custard that I used to vape continuously on my vamo, and it was. I thought you were just staring at me. Then <laughs> <August> <laughs> like, <laughs> really listening to what I'm saying. That's actually a good question there, Dale. Well, let me finish my last one. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Heavenly Vanilla Custard went into them fucking weird square red glass bottles. It was yeah, 50, yeah. 14 quid for 15 well, mil. And I was like, fuck this, I'm not paying. That was dearer back then for what it would, how long it would have lasted me. I remember and walking into Leeds City Centre. You go to Leeds City Centre, 30 mil bottle, 30 mil bottle, you're paying like, 20 to 25 pounds for a 30 mil and you pay that them days are gone now. what was it was it called fusion raster blood and stuff i used to pay like 30 quid for 30 mil 24 quid uh, philip quid, rock man. with 30 quid Do you remember philip five rock? pounds that were an expensive oh, yeah. one as well diacetyl quid. bfb <laughs> bfb <laughs> bfb was amazing that were a there's actually a really good there. question i want to pick up on here and we can all answer this even paul uh, <laughs> Even Here is a good one. He says for Dale, but I think we can all answer it. What's been the best moment while you've been involved in the vape industry? Your best moment. Single moment or the best thing about Yeah, but you, I think you need to have a think about this, Dale, because you've had a lot of good moments. I'd say this I podcast. Like, well, yeah, you've been in the game for a, a long time. You've got to have a memory what you'll never forget. As, as in, loads, but whilst in the vaping industry, I think... It's probably going to be whilst with the Yorkshire Vapor, because as in, in the industry, as opposed to being a vapor, you know what I mean? Memories from vaping. You know? Yeah, yeah. So it's so. definitely being part of Yorkshire Vapor, doing the shows, building stuff, building this, all this yeah. stuff. This is. Mm. Yeah, that was a good answer. I'm not much of a cuddler, but like, just imagine. Mine would have been that, but my real answer is uh, I met Surf through vaping. <laughs> Simon actually told me that story the other day. Did he? Mm. Yeah, so I actually met my now fiance because of vaping. Paul, what's yours? Privilege. No one gives a fuck. About vaping. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's meeting you, Stu. Oh, I knew he was going to say what I said. It. <laughs> it's a case of like, um, before I came onto the vaping scene, you know what I mean? Before I took over on the vaping scene, I, I'm pretty sure you were like number one. Like, And then I, I, I like came in and just... Knocked you down to number two. But did you just hear a noise then? Yeah, it's the shit coming out your mouth. <laughs> 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 I don't know, to be honest. Probably meeting Dale. Oh. <laughs> like, this seems really bad on me, though. Like, we've pre choreographed yeah. this for me to look like a fucking geezer. But that's genuinely, if that's true, Paul, then another hug like, in your mind. On the I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, I think exposing shows. Definitely memories of look, yo, you know, you'll tell your kids, do you know what I mean? Look, we did this, we had, we've had massive events yeah. with uh, you know, with thousands of people, but it's the community part. Yeah. Once you've done it, you've show. done it, like for you know, for me, it's every day of the how we communicate mm. as a team, how we talk, how we interact, how we get involved with each other. As I, I don't think my da my banter has been as dark. <laughs> as it is you did, now, it it's like a polarized picture, it's, it's always been there, it's, it's always shocking. been there, exactly. It's yeah, just. Uh, I think for me, I don't have a moment. I think I spent years going through jobs I hated and education parts I hated, and then I ended up here by accident with myself, and then my friends. Some of them out here not so don't work for us anymore, but still mates, and then it's grown and grown and grown. And what we? You, what were your first job? How did you? From then to now, what were your first job? Well, before I did, just before I did this. First job. Yeah, that's a first good question. Job. Is that first what were your job. first job ever? Ever straight out of school. Vape around while in school. Call Mill Lodge as well. I worked there when I was 13, washing pots. Call Mill Lodge. Stuart, what did you do for your first job? <laughs> <laughs> your um, first legal job. Uh, my proper first job was probably a roof on my old man. Yeah, that was 
Fucking. Is that why you got such a good tan? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, Jason. <laughs> I worked at Virgin Active Gym. Martin Dixon, no thank you, bro. That was my first job. You must have been getting paid there. Not at that fucking age, I want. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, no, I want. Well, what were your job? Me, I, I started doing courses through them, doing uh, child's fitness instructing, and you had classes them. and things, and then, and then I moved from there because the pay was gash. Did you not think about going on to become um, what they called like a personal trainer? No. You know, it could be a personal trainer. Who could be a personal not trainer? Not me. Scott. Scott could be. Scott is educated in that as well. Evening pens. Scott is hench, man. What's mm. the <laughs> which employee? Have you most enjoyed sacking? Oh. Who's that spit out? <laughs> JB. JB. Oh, dear. You yeah, haven't... Hey, in fact, I, I, I know exactly who. People I, I know, know the answer, but I'm not going to say But you haven't that. got a massive list. Like, you employees, most There's of them. There's quite a few, bro. How is that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Some of which you have just said, do this for us. Uh, you haven't had to directly do it. So that's all right. Ah. Once... Once I've done it myself every time, is even when other other management professionals of our company have copped out and made me do it. <laughs> I've definitely had to do uh, the dirty work, but I don't I don't like sacking people. Like, I only do it as a last resort. It's have you ever got right up in somebody's face though and sacked them? Like you, they've really really pissed you off and you've just gone for them. Like no. I, we've never been you're in that fired. position where you've needed to really. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Can we change? This is this is a comfortable subject it's for me. Pretty I don't good think uh, I'm question is that. Uh, Anyway. Yeah, JB. <laughs> you I'm could be like that guy on The Apprentice. JB keeps forgetting he's coming to see us on Friday. Mm. I will slap him all over my garden if he carries <laughs> on. We've got Probably lightsabers. Jobs. Guys, we're on 64 viewers, man. Let's hit that 100 viewer mark, man. How many likes are we on? How close to this nipple piercing uh, are we? We've had quite a few shares. We've had a, a few shares, to be honest. I don't know how many likes are hit as of now. You know when you say likes, share yeah, smiley faces and love arts aren't included. Yes, in they them. are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. What about angry faces? Uh, yeah. yeah. All faces... That's All a bit faces. harsh, is that? All faces. I don't, you know, I'm second thought in this. I forgot it's to like, like it. Mutilating my skin. <laughs> you, either, you either allow it now you've you done the it. deal, or we'll pin <laughs> you down and, and Chris will literally penetrate your nipple. What will my mum think about it? Penny. Shall we phone her and ask her? No. Penny, that's just get it on phone. I mum, don't care mum. if your mum, your dad, your family don't want you to do it. It's Mother. If, can everyone see Penny Green's comment? Let's have a look. This is the kind of questions I'm talking about. If you could oh. be a Spice Girl, which one would you be? Yeah, but you can't be to sexually arouse yourself. Baby. Why not? I'd never have to worry about another half. <laughs> Who was the fittest Spice Girl? The ginger one. Baby Sporty Spice. Spice. Baby. Baby. Sporty Spice. Yeah, yeah. Baby. She wore them track suits, didn't she? she and didn't probably had a like penis it. as well. Seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Paul grew up in Bramley, so it's, there's no... no. When hey. you grew up on hey. Broadleys and stuff <laughs> like that, you, know, you were just attracted I'm to lasses in uh, track suits. Logically, I'd be posh because she's been the most successful. She, well, she hasn't. She married the most successful. Oh, she definitely yeah. looked designed like Range Rover Vogue and stuff. She didn't design nothing. She put a name to it. It was mm. standard. <laughs> but I was just saying, <laughs> you think Victoria Beckham could design a Range Rover? Well, she's loaded. Did she yeah, have a clothing line? Her fucking husband's loaded. She had a clothing line at one point, didn't she? Oh, fuck me. Paul, they don't actually have clothing lines. They go, yeah, give me two million. You can call it the Victoria Beckham 33 logs and 83 shares. Come on, people. We she can had like beat VB that. on the ass cheek or something like that. When is Stu getting his tattoo? Dal. As soon as you want to go and get it, mate. Oh, I'm sick of his talk. What are you getting a can tattoo? You, uh, can you just Dale. message Gibbo? Really? Oh, literally, I've sent Gibbo the picture of Dowell. Stu knows my pin number. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. Uh, Stu knows my pin number. Don't cop out like this. I'm having a picture. A tattoo, you know when I said, so I did the post saying if I get a thousand likes, was it a thousand? It's, it made it. Whatever know, it was, it made it. Stu's mum said, Stuart's been Baby Spice. She's got the photos to prove it. <laughs> I would be really thankful, Marie, if you could send me those photos while we're on here because I can do some magic on this screen. Mum. Please. Oh, this please. I'm so glad you brought that up. If you could send me those Stuart's Baby Spice, Baby, Spice, Baby Spice photos, I would really appreciate it. What is the most memorable time being with TYV, Stuart? Ah, loads, you know. Pay dear. No, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not money motivated, mate, to be honest. Uh, you were money motivated when you tried selling me that Joby Gorilla earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My most memorable moment. Uh, he's, he's making new friends for me. It's, it's not just like, 
they're not just my work colleagues they're my mates as well so that's what I, that's what I love about this now I get to I get paid to go to work with my mum my dad my mates every day yep. where else do you I know everyone has colleagues any job you're in you're gonna have colleagues and people are pricks it's the same here <laughs> but like I get to I get paid to go to work every day chill with my dad chill with my mates good mates and then my mum as well so if you could buy any car what car would it be RS6 Mustang. Like, uh, What's that? I pick like a fucking I, old school. <laughs> no, I, I've always a said. Cortina. I've always said. <laughs> let me I've guess. Let me I'd guess. Have let me guess. Elise, oh. I'd have a Lotus Elise. I'd have a Lotus Elise or something <laughs> little two seat bollocks. They're good for small people. They're shit. I am you a small would, person. You wouldn't fit him, would and you? if yours is a Hummer, leave the building. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Mm. Is it a Hummer? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't even make them any more than that. I Stuart. do buy an old one. Stu, what were your first car? My first car was a Corsa. And I got, I got Those it. Those were a Corsa as well, Boxer wasn't it? Corsa C. Oh, mine was a silver one. You've had a Corsa silver, as well. Silver Corsa. I've had uh, Do you want to know how I got it? How did you get it? I bought but my it. my first car was a Nissan Micro. By a compensation oh, claim for a car crash what, when I wasn't in the car. Ah, uh, fraud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of insurance fraud on go, yeah. Yes, Stu RS6. Simon knows. Did you like your micro? Um, it were a bit of an embarrassment. Which employee yeah, do you regret still employing? It were a real embarrassment. Because I left one of my mates. Um, he were called Chimp. He, were, he, he might be watching. He might not be. But, uh, Hi, I had Chimp. This, I had Hi, this sil- isn't He's not called Chimp now. He's actually a really good tattooist. Is that cute pet name? But what he did was, he says to me, uh, leave, leave your car with me. Give me an hour and come back. And when I went back, he put two blue Viper stripes all the way over this Nissan Micro. <laughs> And then when I tried to take it off, the paintwork were coming off with it, so I had to leave them on. I, this, I had no choice. This is another good one as well, uh, and, and I think there isn't a real good answer for it. I feel like we're finishing. Yeah, I know, but like, I feel like we need to answer these questions, man, because people want to know. What can be done to bring the Vite community back to what it used to be? Fuck all, it's done. That's my opinion. Hugs and I kisses. Disagree. I do. No. I, I, think it's, I think it's that cutthroat now. There's no community spirit. I think I, it's gone. Disagree, amongst think. amongst loyal people. I think so many people go to these events or have gone to these events and then people have the same mindset where they think, oh, it's just the same. If everybody continued to keep going, it'd still stay hyped because everybody's seen these faces again and having a laugh with these people again and more vendors I, will want to go to these places because it's so hyped. I don't think it's dead. I think I think the business side of things, from from my point of view and from business owners' point of view, the industry got more cutthroat. Therefore, yeah. Yeah. people, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, the free shit stage has stopped now. Like we, mm. we've certainly stopped it. We're still going to do giveaways, but not as intense as we used to because everyone were fighting for position. That's why mm. everyone were doing it. And I think that has created clicks of people like I only go for their free shit and the mm-hmm. branch yeah, of their yeah, free yeah, shit. Yeah. I go for their free shit. So it's divided the community into that free shit following that group, that free shit following that group, mm. a cult. Yeah, essentially, I don't a group, think a group of, and we. I'm, I'm not saying that we, we will have had our own, mm-hmm. like not that we chose, but people that we chose the people in it, but mm-hmm. they would have chosen to follow us. I'm not being. And we stopped that because we didn't want to be a part of it. We would rather have. But we you yeah, said yeah. the same thing earlier. Yeah, yeah. We'd rather have ten genuine people watching a stream like this, mm-hmm. interacting with us, having a chat mm-hmm. like this. It's been a long time since we've done live feeds or anyone's done live feeds with that much interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and I would rather have all the people in here than have. Quadruple those 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 viewing figures and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Definitely in it for the free shit. Hundred percent. Yeah, they're, they're just here to, to jump on our feed because they know another feed's going live in five minutes and they really want you to hurry it, up to come in. It's actually soul destroying, man. When you put like you you know, I'm known for live feeds. I'm known for for doing a lot of things on a live feed, but it's soul destroying when you see people left. And what I mean by dead, I don't mean it's dead. I mean you've got your loyal people now that stick to you, and that's it. As a brand, or that's, that's, that's the community, in it? Not just yeah. like the from, the from me as a, from me as a business point of view, I don't mind that. I genuinely don't mind that. It's we, at the end of the day, we've got a job to do. As long as we do that outside of all the free shit, outside of all the the pettiness of the industry, I, mean, I, I've got, I used to get involved with that shit a lot. Like I'd be the first person jumping in with an argument. I'd be the first person telling someone to shut the fuck up. I try not to bother anymore because. Whether it does or do, doesn't damage your business, I cannot be asked with it. You know what I mean? I have enough shit to do, work wise and all sorts. To be fair, we don't tend to get in that situation, do we? You know, there was a lot of shit knocking around. But JB's question there can that be multiple answers? 
Because I think that's a pretty that's, good one. That is a good question. Yeah, I, 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 I can that. answer that. And Danny Bark, I also agree with you. TPD definitely did ruin a lot of juice lines. Yeah. That was one of the biggest struggles in the... Uh, it well, it, it filtered a away a lot of shit this as is well, I think. T- right, this is, this is, I, dis- I completely disagree with that. I don't think... I think it ruined juice lines that deserved to be ruined because... People knew the TPD would come in for 12 months before it did. They knew it was going to be expensive. Now, these guys who threw up juice lines, good, bad, shit, not shit, you know, safe, unsafe, they had 12 months to think, I need to plug 10, 20, 30 grand yeah. away. And they were making fucking bank back then because we all know there were money in the industry. And I'm not saying that from a greed point of view. There was a hi- higher turnover and less of a company split mm-hmm. back then than there is now. They knew they had 12 months. These people who went bust because they couldn't afford it, in my opinion, either decided... I'm done with the industry, which is fine, that's their choice. Or they pissed the money away because they've got 10 grand in banking for, let's go buy a second-hand car and, and yeah, s- yeah. look flash to my mates instead of putting that 10 grand in. But I think our TPD first put through was £47,000. That nearly crippled me to mm. pay that. That was pretty much everything we had. Do you think you're at, the, you're at your, not peak, but do you think you're at the best you've ever been as a company? Yeah, I'd say so. We've never, been, but, we've never been busier. But do you think that, now you're at this peak, then ten pound for hundred mil juices could potentially fracture you where you are now in the future. No, People have always been there. They've always been there. With we, we haven't been there as since much. Since short yeah. fills have come around, the Prices have been coming down because people are wanting to sell bulk for cheaper, so people go straight to them. But quality well, sh- speaks short, more than quantity a lot good. of the time. Short fill was good because. 10 mils died. Ra- I called it from the fucking start. I said short fills would be a good idea. And loads of people were saying that we were going to be mm-hmm. shit. They're a bad idea. We were one of the very first UK companies to start doing short fills and thought, fuck, fuck 10 mils. Mm. We'll do them if people want them, but we'll do short fills. I want to know the clever cunt was who, who, who found out that loophole about the 18 milligram thing. The first time because I ever saw it in the UK was uh, Frontline at an expo. They, and I were like, what is that? Because this was pre-TPD, so and I'm thinking, yeah. this is a ball here. Why are they doing this when well, it was pre-TPD? So, yeah. you know, mm. it seemed pointless at the time, but they'd already started it. Yeah. So they'd already started doing it, you know. the. the Can we speak about that? Benefits, no? Um, yeah, I don't see why not. All right. I want you to answer that. JB's. Which yeah. employee or team member would I most? And I don't give a shit if this causes offence, but if I'm going to choose the most for each one... You're going to pick would... a girl for the first one, surely? Probably not, no. No? I'd pick Jay. Like, for the first one, simply because... I, I don't know, I just... Well, Ricky knows Jay. Well, yeah, you know what I mean? he, he come into my head straight away. And then, with my car, you, because you drive like a granddad. You don't want to trust me with a whipper. I'll be fucking I do when I see you drive like I'll an be absolute s- old lady. Daunting that bitch. Cars. See, I wouldn't trust Jay with my car long term because I know he likes... Trust with the company the card. All of you? You yeah. all have them? No, pretty much. You definitely flew past me the other day when yeah. we were driving back. You you flew past Oh, yeah, me. but if I crash my car, it's my fault. I, I already, crash my I car. Were, yeah, give me my car a little bit. I definitely shake, know the... Uh, yeah. I would have an hour time keeping up with you the other night. Can I answer it for you? What? The last answer. Is it, is it Scott? No. No? Not not for any reason. It would be my dad. Yeah. Who would I trust to run my business for a year? It would be the first person I would go to. It would be my dad. Yeah, not true. have any mm-hmm. disrespect to Scott. My dad knows. He doesn't know the vaping industry like we do, but my dad will not let anything go. My Your dad, dad would make sure everyone in here was, keeps it going yeah. and he's just head figure. That's, it's essentially, that's what, essentially what I do. Yeah. Like, and he would have to be taught the processes that I do in the background. Because I know everyone thinks I don't fucking work, but I genuinely do the background stuff that keeps every, everyone else doing their jobs. Uh, I'm, I'm essentially the fuel to the car. But I would, I would I, through no disrespect to anyone else, my dad would run it, but he would only be able to do it with you lot as well. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. He wouldn't be able to do it on his own. He wouldn't have a clue. But my dad is always the one who would never let someone take the piss. Like he would never let someone do something that would be detrimental to other business. Oh, he's straight to the point, isn't he? He's funny yeah. as you yeah. He's got no filter. He's so funny. That's actually a good one as well. Because I think that's bullshit. Wait. Not that he's... It, uh, that's his genuine opinion on it. But I think that's bullshit. Quality would always win over quality. No, no, quality In my, would always win over yeah, yeah, my personal view, yeah. Definitely. But in this day and age, no. Because you can, you can go into vape shops now and people want the cheapest juice. But, yeah, but, but, actually, I, that's yeah, geogra- but it's that's smart ge- pricing. That's geographical. But, like... If you think what our footfall is, if we got every vapor in our area to come to our shop, our football probably double. Yeah, but, but the reason being 
We have, if you look at most towns that have got A, multiple vape shops, B, multiple clientele. And by clientele, I mean some people can't afford 20 quid for 100 mil, and I, and I get that, right? But for, for 120 mil for 20 pound, and there are shops that will sell you it for a tenner. Now, if that's the budget they're on to last them a week, and they're 100 mil last them a week, they have to go to those shops. Yeah, but you've got a completely different client, mate, in my eyes, because I've been in many of vape shops. We've always I've been worked. in more at the hobbyist when we first started. Yeah, but we were never about, we were the community part. We want just a, we'll open this. That's still like that in money. the shop though, Jay. Like it's a, friend, mad. a friend of mine turned to me before, before we had, obviously we were manufacturing before we had the shop. And I always said to my mate, I would like to open a shop in Pudsey because there were no shops then. Although there were a little like no match um, franchise that in a cartridge shop or something. But like, I really want to open a shop in Pudsey, not to damage that other company, but, it's my hometown. I want to have my, my main flagship store in my hometown. That's why pudgy has got the bar and the grave. That's, that's the main one. But it, the, my mate said to me, do you think there's a scene in Pudsey? Because back then it was scenes, wasn't it? Like, it was, is there a vape scene? I'm like, well, if there isn't one, we'll fucking make one. Like, there isn't a scene because there's nowhere for there to be a scene emanating from. So we we have essentially, I mean, we, we sell a lot of starter juice and a lot of starter kits still. We've been in Pudsey for three years, and every week we're selling multiple. Yeah, but your products. shops run like I've I've never seen a shop. To the be honest with you, I've been in a lot of shops, man, and you are the the customer base you've accumulated over the years is very loyal to you, man. Like they know what they, exactly what they want, and they're coming in for that. Like you get a lot of people in your shop that stick to the same. I was shopping from Dale you know from I mean? his living room. Yeah, bargain booze have started yeah. selling like. Um, Shit. Someone yeah, just asked yeah. that actually. What do you think about local corner shops selling juice lines? I personally don't give a shit about it. Uh, as long as they're selling it, good juice. Do I wish it, ne- yeah. it well, never it's, happened? It's yeah. still better than combustion at the end of the I day. Wouldn't like, you rather an e liquid be in there than just purely tobacco? Have you, you ever know, thought about doing that though? What? Putting it in like a corner shop. We're it's, not prejudiced against who we sell it, who we wholesale products to, but we make sure we check what they're about first yeah, and try mm. and check the history. We've had people come to us who we're very strict on what people sell it for. Like, so we have a retail price and genuinely I can say hand on hand, unless we've got a sale on that 20 quid retail price for hundred million is 20 quid in the shop. We never mm. do a, like, oh, we'll do it for a 10 and just not tell anyone what the price on the website, the price is in store. And it's always been like that. And we ask people to respect it. We've had people manage to bullshit us because you won't know they're going to bullshit you till they've had the first order. Yeah. 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 And, but then we, we go well out of us. A lot of, a lot of distributors won't believe us, but we genuinely go well out of our way to find out especially recently, without going into detail, we will know if... Because if you ask one of your distributors, who's supplying this guy we've cut off already? We've said, no, they're not having it because they abuse the pricing, that they're not respectful of the industry and, and they're, they're going to kill it for everyone. So you ask, every, have you have you supplied him? No, no, it's not us. Have you supplied him? No, it's not us. One of them fuckers has supplied him, mm. right? Mm-hmm. And we don't know who that is. We have now a process where we can find that out. Yeah, but you have a huge customer base. So to, to it's all that difficult. Down, yeah, to, it's difficult, you know? but we've found a way yeah. to, to adequately do it now. And then without obviously revealing how that is in case anyone sees it, this, then we will know very soon who is supplying these. There is a way that, and that can you can them. get those uh, 100 mil bottles for cheaper though, isn't there? Well, there's Design. a... By using the code Paul15 on the website, <laughs> and you can get 15% discount. Yeah, but if you use my I, I bet you can get them cheaper than that. Guy, this, is, this is actually a good one. And and this isn't this isn't me trying to say that making a juice is easy. It's saying it's making it easier. So, Dale, how much generally goes into creating a new juice line, label design, uh, compared to when you did start or how it was? It was... It's, you know. Extreme the, the the custard cream that we don't make anymore. We've sort of V two now. Um, took me about six months to get where we t- till we sold it to the finished product. It took about six months because desserts are notoriously harder to to get right, and you've got a lot longer steep. Oh, back then you had a lot longer steeping time, but you've got a, the first time I started making juice were over four years ago. Concentrate technology has come along. How about massively. sourcing like the 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 materials to do that bottle? You know. Um, Back oh. then it was a bastard because yeah. vaping, what, vaping. I mean, bear in mind, four years ago, that wasn't the start of vaping. Nine years ago, what? But no, nine, nine years ago, you're talking, there was maybe three massive companies doing it and they had the lockdown on bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People weren't looking for bottles, therefore bottle companies supplied three side contracts and then aromatherapy and all that, their normal stuff they were still supplying, whereas us, we came in at a time where, not gourmet, what's the word? Premium e-liquids and something that wasn't just fucking strawberry watermelon yeah. we came out complex. at a time where the, yeah the more complex flavors were starting to become was the heavier premium liquids back then though it, the, 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 the were, the, there was were there were quite a few companies making them but there weren't there were nowhere near every man and his dog's making premium e-liquid now and complex e-liquid yeah 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 right but we 
the, the, the reason that I think we did, I wouldn't say better, but the reason I, I think we advanced why we did compared to other companies that were around when I started not around anymore was because I genuinely wasn't money driven then. Like when I was younger and I had no money, all I ever wanted was money. You know what I mean? Like I was a greedy motherfucker when I was younger, mm. like I did all sorts of shit. Whereas now, uh, I mean, I'm comfortable, but I, I I don't mind putting all the money in the business account into something that I believe is a risk if I think it's going to pay off, simply because I think investing back into your own company, investing in your own ideas, has got me this far mm-hmm. and got us this far. As yeah, a but in all fairness, uh, you as a person, you don't buy materialistic bollocks. You buy yourself a car because I you want a car. Pay. Yeah, but not necessarily because you just can. Well, because you want it and you've worked hard for it. You, don't you just definitely go through hobbies, interests, oh, and yeah, fads, but th- like that there's no tomorrow. Yeah, but I, I want to try everything. Yeah, but I, that's yeah, like an OCD thing. Out think, right, of uh, the guys in this room, I'm li- most likely to die first due to health. Therefore, my bucket list needs to be completed well, 30 years before yours does. Feel free to just send your funds into my bank account. I will do that. <laughs> I will yeah. be happy. Have you got to, a hobby that you want to take up? I know this bank. I know this number. <laughs> I'll take this bank card. See, that, that, there's a prime example of how much I trust. Because you genuinely know that PIN number. And you, despite saying it, you genuinely know that PIN number. I don't. You fucking I don't know do. my own PIN number, Dad. Well, that's, that's just stupidity then. But everyone who were I, I very likely could name me <clears> one or two because the newer members of staff. Who I mean, I'm on the banks though. every day, you know. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah but that's your job, though. Yeah, but like, Soph knows my PIN number. Yeah, but this is her job. She has to spend your money. Well, Jason has to has to see the money he's making for his company. He's gone to your. Right, but you know my that's my personal card. Oh, he, I don't know he that. Knows, he knows he, they're all the fucking same, bro. Like, oh, right. there's people who don't work. You won't say it over the podcast. podcast. I definitely won't say it over the podcast. <laughs> people know where I live, and if they try to rob me from my bank card, I have two guns: one at the side of my bed and one under my desk. So if you want to come and try and rob my yard, get past the dog, and I will shoot you. And we've got lightsabers here. You fucking five of them. You have to let them know that them guns don't carry bullets, so. How did you? you're like police raiding you in the morning. Yeah, there you go. James knows my pin number. James, I've worked here since August, September. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't bothered because if, <laughs> if someone robs me, A, the bank will give me the money back, and B, I'll probably hurt them. Do you think, this is a good, this is another one as well. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm plowing through these questions, man, because I find them really interesting. For myself, how did you make T-Wall such a popular brand and get it out there as far as it has? I personally think those flavours done that for you. And the community is a big part of Massive, that. massive, hundred percent. But I reckon what's inside that bottle is what brings T Y V to. I think, in I think it's you more were all dessert, weren't you? Like on when the same you first level, started, obviously. Dessert, dessert, dessert. Well, I, yeah, that, I that think it's more investing people. in people. Well, yeah, like I, I have a, I. Because you've got to have a, a surrounding of people around you that you know and trust that are going to push your stuff forward. I agree. Like, the, there's a reason we have the I have the people around me that I do have. Because as soon as someone pisses me, I, I've said the same thing to you before. I'll trust anyone until they give me a reason otherwise. And I've always been like that. And like we were just talking about this off the feed about other yeah. things, but I wear my heart on my sleeve in that respect. So I, I will literally give anyone a chance it's until they give me a reason not to. And even then I give second chances simply because I've had fucking hundreds of chances. And I think if I hadn't mm. have got my hundredth chance, I probably wouldn't be doing this. Mm. Like I, w- I, I, I was given a chance by my parents to let me 300 quid to start TYV. And if and with the way I used to be and the way I used to act, the way I used to the shit I used to give my parents, if they hadn't have given me that one last chance, I would have yeah, still yeah, been yeah, as yeah. fucked as I was back then. Do you know what I mean? I would still mm. have the problems. This gave me a chance to grow up, mm. look after my little lad, get stuff going, and then eventually build a team of like minded people around me, people who have the same values as me. Values that I had to learn because I was a dick. Like a massive Just dick. Dinner. I've got a question. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm a better dick. Well, yeah, you're a big dick. I've, I've got dick. a question, right? When are, we, are you going to start pushing more merch? Because I know a lot of people, like, they love these snapbacks, they love the jumpers and stuff like that. Do you know, I can answer that, right? Because a lot of people, no offence, there is a lot of people that, that are avid collectors of anything TYV. Snapbacks, jumpers, they want it because mm-hmm. it, they know it's very little mm-hmm. numbered. But a lot of people this day and age, when you ask them, if you, Yo, should we do this? A lot of them are talkers. Yeah. And that in me being offensive, a lot of them will say, "Yeah, I'll have that. Yeah. I'll, I'll definitely get that." And you, and we, we've definitely got. It comes to it. It comes to it, and people saying, think, them, "Yeah, get one of them, yeah. get one of them." And I'm not being funny. Like it's all right. We make good money as a company, but we've still got money in that hoodie <coughs> that you were gonna buy. We've still got money in that that hat you were gonna buy. And obviously, we want extras. How many people on this feed though would be like interested in like say like these hoodies? You know what I mean? These are pretty sick. These. And I have to say, like, I wear this all the time, even when I don't see you. Yes. You know what I mean? Dinks, man. 
<laughs> I do wash it. <laughs> it doesn't Can smell as bad as that microphone. That do that? A lot of people, a lot of people also, they'll say they want this. They want new snapbacks, hoodies, shorts, socks, that kind of thing. Mm. But then as soon as you mention a price, yeah, but to be people fair, are Jack, like, well, it's not free. Yeah, but to be yeah. honest, mate, yeah. our stuff. That it, was Expos, though. That Expos didn't only... only Bring out the free shit. We like the the first vape jam. In my opinion, this is my experience of exhibitions. The first vape jam I, I attended. That's where I met Rick and uh, and uh, Jane Seward. Like the first one I attended as I just started, and I wanted to see more about what the industry was about, trying to get ideas of what other brands were about and stuff like that. When I went there, that fucking killed Expos for a good year or two on free shit because that set the precedent for everything. Yeah, but can you remember when like, snapbacks wasn't a thing in vaping? Because I can. I can remember oh, yeah, when no, there was... I, I, I meant like juice. I meant milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You used to got T-shirts with a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like basic ass T-shirts. Cut, You've done that. Cut would have turned up with a thousand T-shirts. Cut would have turned up with a thousand T-shirts. Every motherfucker would go with a T-shirt. You'd queue up at Vape Jam, the first jam yeah. I went to, and you would get given bags in the queue. Right before you got into the show, you would have maybe a liter and a half of juice. Mm. In a time where juice was Expensive, thirty quid yeah. for a, a twenty five quid, twenty quid for a thirty ml bottle, so you would, you would go in there with hundreds of pounds worth of stuff. Now that's all right for promotion, but that killed it for a good t- one, one and a half two years. Now the one thing the American market got killed by that, and I mean absolutely killed by that, and the FDA fucking about all the time. However, now I think we've managed to pull ourselves away from that because we still have good lucrative mm. exports from business side of things while still people are getting a good mm-hmm. deal. that we've, we've always been a purchase-based company, like most vape companies mm-hmm. are to be purchased from, and I don't think we've ever... We've done three free throwouts from the stage, mm-hmm. but we've never been come to our stand, everything's fucking free. Because yeah. at the end of the day, that expose usually cost us, not so much now, but the big expose that we did and the bigger stands we had were 30 grand outlay. Yeah, but we have to try and get some of that, get some of that back I feel us. that you put a lot more into your stuff than most people, be purely because like our snapbacks... New era, mm-hmm. our hoodies, you know the the top quality hoodies, and that's why you know you get. I get a lot of messages. Oh, Stu, I'm not paying thirty quid for a snapback. I'm like, well, the new era hat, what's on your head, is definitely thirty, forty quid in the shop. Mm-hmm. So it's the same sort of product. Do you know what I mean? It's that sort of quality. I think that because again, because the t-shirts and the hats that have been thrown out in the past have been, and they're not being. You can get you pool yeah, fruit of the loom and shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not the worst stuff in the world, like, but it's. It's the cheaper end of the spectrum. So when someone can sell a snapback for a tenner, they've probably paid four quid for it. Yeah. Like our hats, the, what do we sell our hats for? 25, 25 quid. Yeah, 24 Which quid. Which is I, mint price. I mint. To, right, so you take off the VAT from that. That's just short of 21 quid, yeah. Them hats cost me, I think, £17 delivered. Could we get them from America, from um, a company in America we haven't made for oh, us? We'd be definitely going to sell them now. <laughs> I just told him how much he pays. No, no, mm. I'm joking, four, I'm joking. Four quid for a new era hat. We have to go through. Yeah. Like, there's got to be a profit, not a dirty word. Yeah, of course. Like, I'm not going to lie and say, we, we make four quid on those hats. We don't sell them to make a no, massive no, no. profit. The four quid is to cover the time it's taken to go backwards and forwards with the designers and stuff, to, to sort out just for the sheer ball ache it is for me to get them through. Yeah, but do you know when you just see... As well, when, when you like go we out see a and random you see code, someone yeah? wearing a yeah. TYB, yes, the gear, brand awareness. Like, I, would, yeah. I would rather if someone sees that logo, give you your money go, back. Well, give you your money back at what, yeah, yeah, and see that logo 100%. coupled with a new era label, yeah, or like the the um, the wholesale t shirts you guys used to have, they were Nike, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Nike. yeah. I would rather them see the Yorkshire, that that was a no monetary thing, we didn't sell a no for yeah. our staff. But our staff were walking around with a suitcase with like a, a mm. pull on case with our brand on mm-hmm. in a night golf t shirt with our logo. Yeah, but even I got gas the other day. Me and Sophie's driving, we seen a guy in a white van with a grey TYV snapback on. And I was like, fucking hell, that guy's got a snapback on. So, look, it, you guys that have been here from get go to see some yeah, random yeah. guy repping your brand, it's got to be half gas for you. Do you know what I mean? I, I still nice. like it when I see like a hand check with someone with an OG bottle. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. really old school bottles. Mm. It's like the black you've ones. kept that, even though well, the the older, ones with the black labels older. and the red and you can go. Oh, I've got go the thermal long. printed rolls, the ten mil. Well, I managed you know. to get like you know when I fir- first first decided right, I want to see if I can sell some of this. It was on a vendor's day. You'll remember this, mm-hmm. uh, on a vendor's day on uh, UK vape trades. I don't know if that page. You is used still to cost me a fortune, man. Yeah, but you on used vent- to win shit all the time. All the time. Like all the t- we, back then. Back We're in then, it for free shit. 
Yeah, but then again, <laughs> yeah. you think of you think of how the free shit things change. Now you'll have a hundred people watching. Ninety eight of those people won't be buying your stuff in general. Yeah. Whereas back then you would do. I, I used to buy a new watch. Yeah, I would have six seven hundred quid with a retail yeah. gear. You'd buy and stuff, would, and this was the thank you, wasn't it? Like yeah, you do was, giveaways a, and things. We, we'd make a fair bit of money on a vendor's day, and we would say, right, we'll do a draw, and the first seven people get drawn from one to seven or win X prize. Back then, if you were getting watched not on live, but if if people were following your giveaway. If you were, if fifty people were interacting with that giveaway, forty-seven of them would have been your customers. Yeah, 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 like yeah. genuine customers. Yeah. Whereas now it's completely flipped over, and you've got thousands of comments. Yeah, thousands of comments, but only two or three genuine customers. Now, mm. thank you to those customers, and thank mm-hmm. you to other people to it for interacting in the post. But that's not what we're into getting. I don't, I don't need a, a like-filled, view-filled fucking live feed yeah. full of people like we. We were going to do the odd giveaway here because we want to do it, not because it'll draw any more uh, people. It's in. a thank you. Yeah, a thank you for the people who are interacting with us. Like, this is probably one of the most active chats we've ever had where we've not been yeah. giving something away. And I love that. Yeah, I'm not same. really reading. Re, that give me much. a shout. I'll send you a sticker. I, I've would, got them here. I would much rather have a, an interactive feed as we've got now and you guys interacting and sit with 700 people spamming some bullshit because they want to try and get your attention or want to try and get something from that. But I've got a question actually. Where look, I've just seen it in there. Can't remember who said it, but Jason, where would you be now if it wasn't for vaping? I know it's a hard one, but where do you think you would be? I'd still be in my last office job. Dale definitely poached me. Definitely poached me. I did. Yeah. Good, good poach. That. <laughs> good poach. I was working for a pallet distribution company, and Dale actually messaged me through the day and said, "So, how much is it going to cost me <laughs> for you to leave that job and come and work with me?" Well, working with friends were always instantly a bonus. So the, the good... pro was there, you know what I mean? Because we were boys anyway. So to work with your friends you in an industry that you is... do no, Jace. What's that? Was you employed to do what you do now? Yeah. How was you? Mm. Straight into this. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, everything, everything we've done, we've grown together, you know, and we've learned a lot of stuff together. You know, it's Dale put faith in putting me in this job role, which. Has benefited me because which well, is a hard fucking no. job. Right? It is, what, what is it you do, Jackson? Just so people know what you do. It's I, a hard I job. deal with all the wholesale for the Yorkshire Vapor. So if you've got a shop near you that stocks the Yorkshire Vapor, it's gone through the links that we have grown and we have built and the connections that we have made to put it into that shop, whether it be from a distributor that we have gained and built relationships with that they distribute it for us. We've still had to make that connection. Uh, individual shops, people come direct. We build a really good customer base and really good relationships with our customers because I'm all about building bridges. Don't break the bridges, you know. I'll speak to my customers on a daily, you know. We just have chats, banter, again, this dark banter. And you know when you get to a level of dark banter where you're just giving each other grief constantly just to say hello. Yeah, but I personally couldn't do your job. (laughs) (laughs) No, it's, it's a fucking... Jason's job is probably the hot, but apart from Dale's because Dale's got all the stress and the and the worry, but sales is definitely the hardest job, especially in this day and age of vaping. It's hundred percent with with this role now, like you say, because the market is saturated with a lot of companies. Tends to be short fills selling double the quantities that we are for half the price. It's like you're not making any money, but if they're happy to make fifty p on a bottle. And taking three years to make a tenner, that's that's up to them. Yeah, but that's but the joys of you. You never bow down it, to them. It's not to them things I do. Yeah, you like this I, and this I is it. I wouldn't class this. The way I've seen it change since since Jay started. Obviously, Josh is in there now. James used to be in there. Um, Tom before that, and me initially doing it. It's gone from cold calling, which it isn't anymore. It's I would call it a lukewarm calling because you're approaching businesses who've a likely to have heard most of us. I've heard right of us, and would potentially be interested but what i love about where we've got to now is we probably have more calls in mm-hmm. than go out from yeah. new customers and mm-hmm. it's not for, for, a, for a company to it, it's a victory for us as a brand when someone calls us and say do you know what i really want to, i've heard i've seen your brand i love your brand and i love what i love what you do and i've heard good feedback and when they and that comes from their customers asking them mm-hmm. if they don't stop fizzy bubbly they don't stop gaffing word of mouth is always the best you know if they've got if they've got five people going into their shop saying have you got have you got the fizzy bubble line? 
if you've got the fizzy bubbly line in there and they don't have it and they've got five, ten people going in there supply and demand, they need to get that in. So they're ringing your customers us then. customers are your best salespeople. Yeah. Oh, you, easy. Every company has easy. got an, an, a field sales team that they don't pay. And that is their customer. And that's a res- that's me. That's us saying thank you. It's a respectful thing. Mm-hmm. But our customers, they go, they might move house. We that might have that is one of the only benefits to. from the free shit chasers that are getting these free shit. Yep. Take a picture. Right that's right. on there. And people, it's in their hand. You know, yeah. that, that picture is yeah. seen on social media by 50 people who might see it, or like it, and Ask then their friends in common yeah. might have seen that so and so is like this the, picture. The organic that's going reach up. you can get from that sort of hand check is so you've been looking recently. Yeah. It's, it's mad. And, it, we've had quite a few of these inputs. Customers have been coming to us for years, have moved, moved area for work or whatever. Mm-hmm. We will no longer be their, their um, local, local shop. Now, it's nice that some of them still travel. However, they will go into their local vape shop, do you sell this? And if they don't, another person, two or three people in the area might have been, do you sell this? No. Mm. That's got it into the shop. Well, yeah. mine. Mm-hmm. well four, if we'd have had those four bottles, it's that would supply have been and demand people need. coming through the till. Yeah, but that's the beauty of being such a recognised brand in the UK as well, mm-hmm. because if somebody went in and said, have you got sharky juice? They'd be like, oh, no, and they wouldn't have heard of it. But the, 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 the odds of someone hearing about that juice, what they've asked, or know about that juice, what they've asked for already, is very high. Mm-hmm. Do yeah. you know what I mean? And, it, and the, there's perks to it, of course. But, what I was going to say was, we about the views and stuff like that. We've had posts that I've, we've I've just showed you one that what hit one hundred and thirty something thousand organic views. Yep. But yeah, look, we're grateful that it's hit that many people and so many people have interacted. Do do we are we are, you know uh, uh, am I grateful the way in, they interacted because of that post? Probably not, because it, it's it's heartbreaking for uh, when you put so much into something and you, you know they're only there for one reason. Mm. Yeah. The, the the feedback of it's great, but are the feedback serious or are they just saying that because they want something? And this is like a massive. We've we've spoke about this numerous times now. Haven't we? We're not we, yeah. we we're not about that no more. See, I I like <laughs> this question here simply because Paul's not as from the vape industry as we are. So, where do you think the vape market will be? And be honest, completely honest, from a company point of view, from a per, from sorry, from a personal point of view, where do you think the vape market will be in five years? I know what my idea is. I think it'll be just overrun. I think it'll be mouth to lungs, as does garages. That's where I think it'll be in five years. I don't think there'll be any. I, I don't think short fills will well, be. That, a, one work. that one work. I don't think short fills will be a thing in two years. Personally, I don't. Two I years. think I think these will be regulated again. Where I hope they do, Jay. I, well, I kind of do. I kind of not for us because we've got so many bloody hundred See, mils. We've got like fifty five. Flavors across ours now. That's a lot me. of uh, change, but yeah, I but don't think it's going to be like this now. I think it will be regulated. I don't think branding will look like this ever. Any, nah, you know, it's, it's just going to gonna be. Plain. It's going to look like a box of fags. In the next five years, these bottles of juices are going to have warning labels all over them. It's going to look. I like hope a box it of doesn't. Fags. No, of course not. I don't no. think it will. Paul, what do you think? I don't think it'll have the labels around them like you get on cigarette packets because, like, they don't contain nicotine when. When you buy it, you yeah, know what I mean? at the end of the day, the MHRA can do whatever the fuck they like. Yep. Yeah. But then again, so can we in regards to loopholes in the law. I've always, always said the second they ban not milligram nicotine e-liquid, I'll start selling lube because that is lube. Mm. I'm not telling you, I know that, but that is lube. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely lubricant. It it. It'll hot. just ruin the whole thing, won't it? Well, no, it makes it a lot more slick. Oh. <laughs> well, wait, go, go Depends in. on the ratio. It's Have you ever used one of these as lube or wash yourself in? I know, Joff. Remember has. before but the feed when we said there's inappropriate things to ask? Yeah. yeah, but you told me there were certain words that were cunt, sir. Couldn't. <laughs> Couldn't. <laughs> Could not. <laughs> so when, when I remember when uh, everyone was panicking about TBT and everyone was like, oh, it's going to be amazing, actually, for the people that can afford to, to pay X amount per skew and it will wiggle out... Uh, well, all the shit people and the people that can't afford it, and in actual fact, it made it bigger. TPD yeah. strengths uh, in ten mils mm-hmm. actually made the vape industry huge because it was so easy to do. It was just like, yo, we can just put hundred mil with no thinking into hundred mil bottle. And see, f- from my opinion, in five years, I think everything will be exactly this. I think it will be overrun more. But well, no, in overrun five, more. How much more can it be overrun? What about when Brexit comes though? Got nothing to do with it. What <laughs> reason, Everything mate. we buy is from America or here, so it won't be affected and manufactured here. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't so as how you just said it then, though. 
it did. It want it, th- this isn't just the case of putting juice in a bottle. Not for, for us, us. How much? Not for us. How much trial and error it's gone from? How many different bottles we've tried? Well, the machinery we've tried. Yeah, but what I meant, Jay, is we've got is, machinery up there that we've had for three years. We've had this from when I had a little tiny clean room at my house. We've got stuff up there that I've used. What I meant by that comment was, was everything that's involved to go in that bowl is a lot more accessible now than it was. Yeah. Well, yeah. To make a 100ml bottle with a, a label and, uh, you know, fully done mm-hmm. four or five I, years I ago. Agree was with, I agree with that. It's a lot more accessible of the materials. You can to, Google to this shit now, bro. You, yeah, can, oh yeah, you, you can, know you what I mean? Can access how, you can access how to make your own juice and all that sort of stuff. However, what you can't do, there is no room for new branding. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And it sounds horrible, but if, if Joe, but someone, this is the worst thing in the world as well. A genuine company who has the same values as us and many other companies as well who are like us. And, and I say like us, like, oh, we could be like them. I'm not being arrogant when I say that, but there are a lot of companies with, the, with similar values. They, they want to make money. They want to be successful, but they also want to create a new product. We can create a new product now because we have the, 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 the following and the clout in the industry to be able to bring a new product out and, it's, and for it to fly. People trust our umbrella brand, which is, the Yorkshire Vapor because everything everything we release under that is trusted. Now people we have distributors who will order having never tasted a new mm-hmm. range. Yeah. We'll have a thousand of them. We'll have two hundred mm. of them. We'll have a thousand of them. We'll, you know what I mean? And they will do that. And that's you can't build that now no. unless no. you are an established brand like ourselves or like the bigger brands like Flaws and stuff like. You can't do that. If uh, Paul could have a fantastic idea idea for a juice line, have the ten, have ten grand in the bank and want to really push it, come foot to us or however for manufacturing. Wouldn't right? go anywhere, would it? It wouldn't go anywhere, and it sounds horrible. But that's simply because it. Unless you've got then, clout to market. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? un- unless you've got a million pound marketing budget, like some of the bigger brands that have, have publicly used that budget, rightly or wrongly, you know, they've done a good job. I don't blame them for that. I don't just, blame them for that either. Just right. on that one. <laughs> if someone turned around to me and said. They, they, in fact, let's they, they, say it, it was Dinner Ladies. Yeah, din- dinner but Ladies have done a fantastic everyone, job. Everyone, do you know? So I actually seen a question there about uh, would you feel offended if uh, TOV was in Asda's and that? and... When dinner lady, fuck actually, no. When I'm dinner lady done the deal, bit, yeah. and August, everyone was like, "Absolute dickheads!" I'm like, "How are they dickheads? Like but they're absolute you geniuses." See, well, Doozy, I'm, I met the guy from Doozy when he was testing his flavors. He came into our shop and speak to us. They weren't for us at the time. Do you remember? Mm-hmm. And that guy is in Tesco now. Now he obviously don't get me wrong. People go into this from other industries and have connections, and they're able to utilize those connections. If you are a marketing company and you have a large budget to bring a brand out, and you know you can turn a million pound marketing budget into 60 million a year, you would be a fucking idiot not to. If you had the ability and the links, the connections to do that, you would be an absolute moron to be in business. I am genuinely not a money-orientated person, but I am a fucking realist at the same time. If someone come to me and said, right, as they want your stuff, you're only going to be making 2p a bottle, but they'll buy 5 million a week off you. What fucking idiot would I have to be to say no to that? Do you know what I mean? And it was like a few weeks ago, I mean, we're not going to give him no more clout, but I'll mention them, but Joel... Uh, I know it's a fucking uh, a subject what everyone spoke about, but when Jewel got sold out for ten percent for millions of pounds, and everyone was mugging him off on Facebook, and actually got in some arguments with some people saying, yeah. "Absolute dickheads!" They released a discount code where you get twenty quid, and you can get a free starter kit. I'm like, "Are you fucking stupid? It's a marketing campaign. Mm-hmm. Don't think that's a mistake." At the end of the day, if they yeah. put if they put hundred thousand starter kits in hundred thousand people's hands, and half of those people stick and they with have Jewel, to buy those pods. Yeah, yeah. The, the, only those boom, boom, boom. pods. You, fuck me! You've instantly okay. got fifty thousand more customers Even on your kit. When the cost price shops. for the manufacturer, because granted the quality is different on those kits that they sent out, then qualities. The quality yeah, but Jay, just imagine the pod wasn't available. That'd still be a great marketing scheme because yeah. everybody's talking about them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Where Have you ever thought about selling on Amazon? Blue did it. Blue did it as well, <laughs> didn't they? Because no, you can we, buy e liquid on Amazon. We've we considered it before. But Amazon, Amazon's <laughs> a weird one, man. Like it's a it's a weird fucking marketplace. Wouldn't like, you rather have a face to face or what the problem with, Amazon what? with the company? We tried listing our CBD products on Amazon, yes. and Amazon turned around and said, "You can't list those because the because the owner of the products has already listed." And I'm like, "I am the fucking owner." Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you mean the owner of the product? Someone obviously one of our one of our com- not our competitors, one of our customers mm. had listed it on Amazon, which is fine. It's a sales channel of theirs. Mm-hmm. But the Amazon wouldn't let me fucking list them. They won't let you sell your own stuff. Because they said that the, the product owner and manufacturer was already selling them on there. Can you like, dispute that? Well, I couldn't be asked. And it's, just, it's, it's just another channel to monitor. And, and it's Two people just said there that Joel sold for 10 billion. Yep. Right. The salt, people are like, oh, they're absolute idiots. That They did not hand over 10 billion bound just because they thought it was worth that. They, they valued that percentage on turnover. Mm-hmm. 
It won't even that. They'll they'll have put they'll have, they bought thirty three percent of the company. For 10, Ten billion. billion. Instantly floating that company for thirty odd billion. It's a great well, investment. Right. They haven't bought that company on what it's currently made because whilst that Jewel have done world had worldwide success, it is not worth ten billion for no. a third. In it's America, not, it's not. It's not it's, it wouldn't even be worth ten billion. For Isn't that based full over of company. a few years of sales? It, it, it will be th- that company will not have turned over ten billion since they started. Yeah, but Nowhere you know they didn't launch for a year, right? Yeah, but it's not that they do that. They will have bought that because of the potential that product has yeah. for its dis- for its discretion, its discretional size, for its availability that they currently have, and and have, how it works. Have you seen that? We went to see them at Expo. Use, yeah. it, 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 There's not much user error. You've got to in think, that. right? No. They they have a, a wholesale system that is vetted at. Like a telephone call. Once they've approved you, you never need to speak to a person again. You remember that online portal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. right? Therefore, they have such an easy process, and they will sell that fucking thing anywhere. Petrol stations, convenience stores, any shop who they believe will have the ability to market a vapor product, that jewel will be there. Yeah. We don't stock it simply because tobacco have an input, and we've never stocked it. We've always said we won't stock things from big tobacco. Mm-hmm. However, jewel is the only thing I would consider stocking. Yeah, it do do that. You purely would say that though and do that because of the usability because of how nice a jewel is because it yeah. is a good device yeah, it, do you they, know what I mean they have changed the original jewels oh, yeah, like massively. A, metal, yeah. a metal frame they were it's now, still the new metal one. but it's it's not it's plastic it's, it's not no, it's, it's it not is metal it, is it? yeah it, it is yeah. metal but it's just not as quality it's not as heavy to me is there any uh any question? Keep sharing as well is there any jewel users is well is there any other questions apart from vaping you'd like to know uh, you know, let's get it out there. Any you want to ask, Paul? Yeah, 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 I've got a question to ask. Um, is it sensible and streamworthy? No. Don't bother. Definitely that. not. Don't bother. <laughs> Hold on a sec, because I'm sure I've just seen a spider downside here. It was your Seriously, it was like, your fringe. I seen someone moving downside, and I thought. Was it, it was your foot? No, no, it definitely wasn't my foot, but I that, think that, there's a spider That's somewhere another here. thing what people are talking about. Like, uh, I know I mentioned it to you, Dan, they're saying, yeah, uh, all these. Uh, Big tobacco companies are going to be buying these big industries, and that. Oh, the fuck! Why? When they're worth billions, they just they could take over if they wanted to. If they, if they wanted to, they could buy every vape company with a substantially higher offer than the company was worth. Yeah, I I've, I have said to you, and I will say this publicly: I would not sell my company for what it was worth. But if a tobacco, if it, and I'm, t- I'm I've completely throwing figures out. Yeah, but before you say that, that isn't because you want to sell up or you're no, no, looking to sell. I don't, don't want to sell. I'm not looking to sell anything like that. However. As a realist, and I'm not putting at this is just simple figures for me to say. If TYV was worth one million, I would not sell it for one million. I wouldn't sell it for two. Someone come up to me and says, "Right, ten million pound, we'll take it all off you." I'd Stupid like, offer. Yeah, I'd say, "See you later," because as much as I could sell them and I couldn't manufacture the products that I designed anymore, and we designed. I don't think it'd one. be that easy though. See you later. I reckon you'd be like, "Ugh." Well, no, yeah, but you know what I mean? mean? If a substantial offer come in, I'd be like... Yeah, what were you going to do? I would, How good are yours, lads? You can have an extra like, month's wages. I'll give you 10 million and I want, and I want, to, keep the, I want to keep the Mont Blanc. You want me to sign the fucking thing? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm keeping the pen. And that, that and, and, and I've said this and I genuinely mean it. I give... I, 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 want, I imagine quite a lot of my staff would want to leave because of who owned it. If they did, I didn't, I'd be able to them. If they did, I would see them all right. And I've always said that. I've always yeah. said I would, if I sold up for an exorbitant, am- exorbitant amount of money... I would see my staff right if they wanted to leave and, and go the, the separate ways for us, and I would enjoy because I'd be stupid not to. Yeah, mm-hmm. like absolutely fucking stupid not to. Yeah. James Arthur Lookalikes dot com. I'm not. I don't look. He's, no, he's doing that to plug his website because yeah, that website forwards to his own. If you want to <laughs> plug that shit, go to your group. Do you think you, you'll ever put your prices up and down? Our prices. Uh, 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 you don't need to go down. I don't. I don't want to go you down. It's not because not because you, you don't want to go down because it of dough. a brand. Because it does. Brand. we've kept. We've always been since we released hundred mil short fills. It's been that price. And do you when know what we, we should do, Dal? We should actually for a giveaway for a genuine couple of people. Give them what we were talking about. Get them to come and have a tour and and take them for dinner. Yeah. Do you know what I mean that's what we should do one weekend and show them what goes McDonald's. in McDonald's. Yeah, would well, be a fucking mm, best restaurant in a town. Gherkin burger. A push but, yeah. two or five guys maybe. Don't you feel like vaping is just going to completely overtake smoking? It nearly has. Yeah, good. Because, like, it will be far off. smoking these days, what is it, 20 quid for a packet of cigs? No, it's not that deal. I think it's about fucking 12, 12 it's 14 not, quid. It won't be far off. Will I don't it? I think it's about it 20 quid. You know what blows my absolute fucking mind, right? And I don't know if, if, if the quality is, I mean, I'm not really promoting cigarettes here, but when I was a smoker, if you were smoking a Sterling, you were a fucking jippo. Like yeah, uh, yeah, for yeah, me, yeah. it was always, oh, you dirty! Like, have you got a cigarette? Can borrow, mate? Yeah, yeah. What is it, Sterling? I'm all right. 
Do you know I'll what? We smoke smoke what you were smoking silk. Yeah, yeah, silk cut. Yeah. For me, silk like I, w- I was a lambic <laughs> smoker, and that was a premium. So Embassy or was. Regal, right? And we're not trying to promote smoking on here, but <laughs> what I'm saying is that a, a pack of fucking sterling, the amount of people now who are smoking, say, what do you smoke? It's sterling. I'm thinking, fuck. But that's probably because they're the cheapest. They've caught like Nine, up. ten quid. Yeah. But that's because if you think a pack of Regal now, you can pay in a fucking train station about 17 quid for a pack of Regal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, if I, you I, walk through town, though, now you see more people vaping than you do smoking. Well, I, I've said this before. I go to Primrose Valley quite a lot, like caravan place down in Scarborough, right? And when I was first vaping four years ago, five years ago, I'd go outside from club and I'd, I'd be vaping outside and I'd be sitting corn like a little fucking leper. Having, having a cheeky vape, and then mm. they'd be there'd be thirty odd smokers looking at me like I were a fucking idiot. It's other way around. Now, now. you go outside yeah. and there's one dirty yeah. smoker yeah. kind of going. They look. They almost and look embarrassed outside. when they you are. when you look they at they them. Yeah, they being, are. Being, we, we've managed to, and I think this is good. If you can make smokers feel embarrassed for smoking, they will soon fucking yeah. quit. And not not for my financial benefit, not for any other company's financial benefit, for fucking health reasons. I am already a big motherfucker, so I will die young. Yeah, but I don't want to add smoking to that. Do you know what the yeah. most annoying thing is for me? And I know it's probably next to impossible, but it could be done to the best it can. This company, not this company, the vaping industry is worth millions upon millions of pounds, and nobody has nailed the device. Technically, it's ex- billions now. Well, billions. Billions. But well. nobody has mm. ever nailed the device what's exactly the same as a cigarette. They have. They I, haven't. They were, have. were, it, were it like a sky sig? That's yeah, what I were on when I first started It vaping. came in like a nah, sig man, as they, well. It was dry. No, what what they were were it were it looked exactly like a cigarette. Yeah, they had a but blue when you yeah. tab yeah. lights did a good job. You remember tab lights? They used to have a they used to have a little stand in well, Kingsgate Centre in Huddersfield, and they had one in Leeds as well. They were good, and I quit for about five months on them before my son was born. Mm. And then the day he was born, because we had a mad home birth that wasn't planned, I went about twenty Lambert. <laughs> Just out of Sky cigs were dangerous, I, so I, I remember think, one of them blowing up. I on think me. cigs, regardless, e cigs should not look like a cigarette. No, they shouldn't look like one. one to look like a cigarette. No, to be honest, I to don't like the word e cigarette. I've ne- no. we, 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 we have to use it yeah. because it's the most known. Vaping's all well and good, but in my opinion, e cigarette is seen as a positive way to quit smoking. What, Vaping has what do a bad you call name. this? What do you call this? E cig. E cig. Oh, do we call both of those? Yeah, yeah. yeah but to be fair, would you ever say mod? Paul's pretty new no, to vaping. Th- I think um, like the proper hardcore vapors call it a mod, regulated, whatever. But I just call it an e cig. Like even my kids, they say, "Have you got your e cig?" You know what I mean? Do you not think though that e cigarette? And, and I'll go into why I, I, I think this is why I've shown it recently. Whilst I don't like the word e cigarette because it contains the word cigarette, which is exactly what we're trying to get rid of. However, it's the most recognisable term. 100%. And I think e-cigarette sounds like the more professional, helpful way mm-hmm. an electronic cigarette. Vaping has a bad name because of people selling to underage kids. None of these things we do. But selling to underage kids, um, people like these guys taking them to fucking schools. Like The worst thing is we, we have three high schools, two of them spe- in the centre of Pudson near our shop. We will never sell to a fucking under 18. And mm-hmm. we are quite savvy at picking up parents who are buying for their kids. Now, personally, if my son were 15 and smoking, I'd get him an e Yeah, From but a yeah. okay, if you was in a shop yeah. and a bird come in with a kid and, and openly said to you, is that still illegal? Like, yeah, proxy is, binds illegal. Oh, is it illegal? Yeah, but but how about if she wasn't with the kid then? Could you still do that? If she you can't police was, that. If, if she, if she said it was for her kid, we'd have to refuse a sale. Oh, you would have to. Yeah. If she said it was for someone who was under under eighteen, we couldn't sell it to him. If she, ca- we've had people come in before, and I mean, genuinely, you can tell the kid is telling the mother what they want. We've de- we've denied that, but we have genuinely had people come in. Now, this is where it falls away from our responsibility. We can only do so much, and we have been legitimately convinced <laughs> that. Uh, oh, what, what did your dad want again? And they've gone through a process. Yeah, yeah, been yeah Well yeah. rehearsed, and they clearly do it all the time. And they've got some, and it were a fucking squonk kit. They've gone outside. Now, we st- I still don't know if the kid used it, but she's gone outside, opened this kit, and passed it back to the kid. And we were genuinely... That, at that point, they've successfully proxy bought, but we had nothing else we could have done to know that. Like, we were no. genuinely... I did that bother you? Did it bother you? Did it, it bother, you? Bother, me when the kid yeah, did it bother you more that it was illegal or the fact that he, he wanted to vape? That's see, I'm t- I, I'm, I'd I'm, rather see well, a yeah, kid vo- off, uh, vaping than smoking, though. I'd rather them do neither. But again, if as a, from a personal point of view... If with they the didn't parent, smoke fags first, then no. Yeah, no, I agree mm. with that. Because yeah. like, a lot of kids are doing it to be cool. And like I say, for me, if Ricky was smoking and I caught him, he'd get the biggest backhand of his life and I'd throw an e down his fucking throat. Simply, obviously, The only people to blame, though, for the coolness is us. 
Yeah, no, I agree. But on the other hand, the, the thing, the problem we've got, and it, it will give us to some us to some people a bad name. There are a lot of school kids, and you see them walking through Pudsey every day, two from school after home hours and stuff, vaping. Now I can guarantee you, none of them got that from us. But they go to town after school. But to be fair, somewhere. my, my four-year-old daughter, I say, Andrew, can you get my mad for me? She knows what it is. Oh yeah, well, Ricky does. Ricky does what well, he's going to win it. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? But. The problem I've got is school kids walking through our town, what's it, our town the town centre where our shop is the People main... People point fingers and think shop. they've got they, that from they've there. They've got then. that because they're yeah, from yeah, Pudsey. Yeah. They think yeah. they've got that from there. Not because they've been to town to mm. a shop that we all know in town mm-hmm. that sell... And I've watched school kids... Or hand-me-down liquids. Yeah. I know that. Hand-me-down yeah. mods. And it where looks bad on us, but we've genuinely never, by knowledge of, of our, us as a company, supplied an underage person. Even before... Cause not you've intentionally. Got, you've got, yeah. Not intentionally. We could have we could have supplied through proxy yeah, that we've never yeah. known about. But even... Do you know that the over-18 rule wasn't, it was only applied like two years ago? Mm-hmm. Like it, was, it wasn't a thing before that. But we've always only sold to over-18s. Even when we're online, we try to police it as much as possible. We haven't helped and that with the the way we've blowing O's and doing tricks and taking cool photos and that little kids. That, will, that is a big thing. Of kids it, will it, generally like, look if it's it me. Snapbacks. But, but we've never done that with the mindset or the direction towards kids. But you got to think we have this because it's colourful and it catches your eye. It catches anyone's phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it anything. Can it, yeah. eye, it well, this is another thing you that you wanted to avoid just having nice things in your shop. You, at one point, you wanted to have like milkshakes and things like that. But then you were like, you know what? I don't want to do that because I don't want it to attract young people to come into the shop yep. and want a milkshake mm. on the way home from school and whatnot. Because it, regardless yeah. if they're going in there and buying a milkshake, which is not, and, and we're all in there product. with tattoos and, yeah. and snapbacks. It, you that's know. why we put the bar in, because the bar is directed at over 18s. Mm-hmm. So obviously, if if a parent comes in, it's the same as any pub with the before seven rule. If, if a, someone comes in on a Saturday for an hour and wants to watch a bit of football, they've got the kid with them. The kids are welcome to come in. Like We've always said that with a parent, mm-hmm. with, with an accompanying adult. And if that parent wants to go and buy a bottle of Corona because they're not driving or whatever, because you shouldn't drive if you're drunk, and um, the kid wants a drink and it's before seven, I mean, we're closed before seven on Saturday anyway, the kid wants a fizzy pop. They can have a fizzy pop. It's the same as yeah, any bar. Course. But and then if they want, obviously the shop could be full of vapor. The parent has the choice at that door. And some parents leave the kids outside, which is fine. We would never. We will always say you're welcome to bring. I your don't kids love in. vaping around my daughter. See, I, I don't mind. See, I don't. Yeah, I don't mind it to be honest. Nah, I don't vape because I know it's I, not I really vape around Harry. Just, just because I never had, I never did. And it's like talking about the kid thing. I was actually streaming uh, the other <coughs> night. And I was blowing nose at the webcam, and there was a, a viewer in there saying, "Can I game with you?" And I was like, "Yeah, cool, got him in." First thing he said was, "That was cool what you did at the webcam." I said, "How old are you?" He said, thirteen. Do you know what I mean not not that I intentionally made it look cool for him to say that? But that was the first initial thing he said to me when he came into my yeah. chat was, "Yo, that was cool as fuck what you did there." So I don't know, it's a tricky one, but that's a that's a good one. Uh, what Salam just asked, would you ever consider a TYV product a device? Well, you did at one point. You drew it up, remember? Yeah. Would you? Remember. Would you? Uh, I think the route to go down that now would be a collab with a company, any Jay? Well, the, the, the route, so. See, route, like the route doing for that. doing that. No, but like juice wise, if if uh, a, a company, i.e., that does a matter long and said, "Yo, will you put your salts in it?" It'd definitely be cheaper to bring out an unregulated device in this day than a regulated device, but. Now is not the time to be bringing out a new there's, unregulated there's one, device. There's one good company that are currently dominating that we were speaking about earlier yeah. that are dominating the the mechanical market, and that's Deathwish. Maxime and fucking yeah. Maxime and Evo together are doing a fantastic job with Deathwish. And on the one hand, other than their products being popular, that side of the market is relatively dead. Yeah, right? But to be fair, Deathwish they are kidding. It. Without a shadow of a doubt, they, they're killing it when it comes yeah. to mechs. But Again, that's got, because got they've got a, good, got a name out there, yeah, but a good ground. Have you seen how well, cool got, as fuck good, they all are? Yeah, well, you've got a good... Pro- See, I'm not into the designs and stuff, and that's not me being disrespectful. No, I'm on about the people behind it. Well, yeah, this, this is you what know. I'm saying. You've got a good product coupled with a fantastic... De- and this is not me kissing ass, but I wouldn't say anything. You've got a, good, a fucking good, solid product that's been improved over time and you can see those improvements yeah. coupled with a fantastic, trusted distributor of said products... Yeah. What that's a recipe of a success straight 100%. away. The same, the same way that that same distributor Evo has helped was, us was our yeah. 
recipe for success with them like they they've made they've made financial gain from our products like we made financial gain from them stocking every single one of our products without again without testing of taking our products on well james they've is the biggest a, isn't he yeah, yeah. What, whatever he's he puts the, his hands he's on he's the one to to if he believes in a product and he generally trusts it from the start since we were in white and, and it sells yeah do you know what i mean because it will have to sell for him to continue we had the white and red bottles and, and, and james rang me we get to a point where we were growing and we had to reduce sort of radius and stuff James spoke to me and we, we we did a deal and I took the first order down and stuff and that that was over three years ago now and we still have a strong relationship with that same company that have helped us and we've helped them and we've done personal stuff with them like on, you know nights out and we've been airsoft often we did TYV versus Evo last year mm. like we have a good relationship and that's so I've gone up off, off I think Maxime there. and that though and the the, the are they called the Reaper Squad it's the Reaper Squad isn't it mm. all them guys. Yeah. They're, they're very got a lot. mad image, aren't they? They've, they've got a images. crazy image, and, and to be fair, even I think fuck me, some of them look cool as fuck. You know, like yeah, with, with a big rocker stall. Do and they all. even Yorkshire vapor though? <laughs> yeah, a lot of them do, bro. They all <laughs> love TYV, uh, Maxim, and yeah, all that. Joff's part of the. Uh, Joff, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. he's, he's one, one of us. Part of the and, and he's a big part of TYV as well. Do you yeah. know what I mean? He is as a sponsor, and uh, to be fair, it's Maxim has never been the, the guy that will try and. I don't know, push his product in the wrong direction. He's always like, this is the product, this, this is what it is, you want to buy it, you want to buy it. Mm. And people have, because of that generally, yep. you know, the way he's approached it. Uh, how often do you play for 13-year-olds, Simon? Anyone can join your Twitch stream, you mad guy. <laughs> Thank you for ruining what's been an hour and 23 minutes of p- like great Solid, talking. solid viewers as well, and man. You just come and fuck it up. Not yes, Sam. Time. All comments coming up. It's just there's loads of them. We try to go through. See them, the, the can yeah, In regards, in regards to the the, the hardware, we the mechanical market is the easiest route to go down, and we wouldn't want to impede on Death Wish. Nor d- whether I, whether we could or not is I don't know. We haven't we haven't gone down that stage. I've designed mechanical 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 stuff before, not necessarily tubes, but other things. And is it your just, fault either? It, well, I can draw. You could I've definitely I've design I've and come I've up with something. Before book. four years ago, was e liquid? I think. I think. Well, well you yeah. know, that's your. That's the your e-liquid profession. E-liquid is what we what we're good at. It would be nice to have hardware, but it would definitely be. We've assault. also got cottons as well. Uh, CBD wasn't, and See, that, uh, we've got CBD under our Ian's belt. Ian's just asked, would you collab with Blue and and, and assaulting doubt? And the no. the reason you wouldn't though, can we just like clarify that they're a massive company purely because pride and big tobacco. Yeah, it, I wouldn't. I would. You'd have been more inclined with, with Von Earl before. before Von Earl got bought. Yeah, yeah. Got I, w- bar. I would. I would collab with a, a pod system. In fact, I would like to. That would. That would probably be our foot into um, the hardware market. Like I believe Juice Sauce did uh, a collab with Swarin. Is it called where you can get two air bottles of salts mm. with a kit? And, and V got done the Stig. Yeah, yeah. So th- that yep. that neither of those companies Swarin or. Um, juice sauce are tobacco companies. It's a good deal for them, and it's a good idea. I would do a pod a pod collab like that with a China company that we not just your average. You get the emails every fucking day. Everyone who works mm-hmm. gets emails every day. Hi, you Yorkshire vape? We buy. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. I, I w- we don't tend to buy off any. In fact, we're quite. We are a wholesale company who, co- who contact other customers. Mm. But I'm quite a dickhead when it comes to if you contact me, I won't buy it. I've always been like that. Like, yeah, don't yeah, just yeah. if you let me know you're sending me samples, I will we'll go through them at some point b- between us as a company if you just send me samples through the door see you later they're, they're off unless we already have a working relationship we have always been like when we get round to it that would probably be the next thing i looked at there you go you got elements and aspire and um nasty the, juice have got a mod out yeah, yeah. is that their own though that it's, is, well yeah. it's another company's but they've branded this they've bought yeah, yeah. enough of them to brand themselves so that would be a, that would be the only hardware consideration i would make at the moment would be a pod system that went with our products uh, that wasn't a tobacco firm. It, so they'd have to have something about them, though. Yeah, yeah. They'd have, either I mean? that or they could Not be that, like, like you are the fucking king. Well, it just it's, it's, it's a lot. No, but on the other... On like, it would be great to put it in a system with, with, with Inakin or Aspire, but we both know them sort of names will want fucking silly money. More money than I'm willing to put... The, there's a line, what I'm willing to spend to get it done, and what it's worth to me to get it done. Yeah, but when I you... won't cross that line. It's when you own a company... Look, I can't even imagine how it feels, but for me personally, say, like... Uh, I don't know, Jace, we've seen a couple of videos where certain people aren't keen on the flavour of what you've created. And they've they've yeah. actually they've actually teared the juice in your arsehole. We we don't care that 
there's going to be a flavour that people don't like, of course. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's, it's 55 a, of them. It's, it's, but it's, a fact. it's the slanderous comments it's that a, come with and it. And it hurts, man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When you've put your heart and soul, well, like, and you can't it's, imagine how you would feel. Well, you don't really give a shit, do you? No, like, it's not that. I've got I've got a thick skin to it because yeah, I've been yeah, listening yeah, yeah. to this about my products for years from various people, and eighty percent of the time it's from people who I've had a disagreement with. Like one specifically, I'm not going to name the person if he died down, but one used to do reviews for us, and we had a great relationship with them. They would happily tell us help tell them having a review if there were improvements needed. That helped me grow. Mm-hmm. Although when we had a disagreement, he re-reviewed them. They re-reviewed them and said they were all shit. Now is that, that the person that I would on about? No. Yeah, I know exactly They, they re-reviewed them and the same ones and said they were all shit. And I'm like... Who, as since then, I have approached these people uh, wanting to obviously get our, sh- our stock on their shelves. Do you know, if it's supply and demand, like I say, you've got people in area asking for it. So I've approached them and they've said no because I've had an argument with Dale at some yeah. point. And it's like, but you haven't had an argument with me. Yeah, you yeah. know, you're not buying off Dale. You're buying off me here right now. Yeah. <laughs> I am yeah, yeah, the yeah. face on the phone at the yeah. other side right yeah. now. You know, and I'm. That's why you employed me to fix bridges half at time. Yeah, I, I was. I am a stubborn motherfucker. You are. And people, I, I if I fall out with someone, you and it's not. It's never usually for no reason. Like I will genuinely usually have a good reason for for telling someone to go fuck themselves. <laughs> but I will not rebuild that bridge on my own. Someone yeah. has to be there to same. push me to rebuild that bridge mm-hmm. because, one, like I say, once someone's burnt that trust and has fucking wound me up, I'll yeah. be like, do you know what? Fuck you, mate. I don't it, care how much money It's almost as if like, there's been times where I've been speaking to these people that Dale's argued with. I'm keeping well, it quiet. I'm thinking, Dale can't ever find yeah, out. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah. to fix a, yeah. fix a friendship here. But, She's been you know, sat there with me in, in a meeting where I've said to her, bloke, the, the guys, the geezers have sat there opposite mm-hmm. us and said, we spend millions and we, we do this. I don't fucking care how much money you've got and how much money you spend. What are we here for? Can, can, we, actually, like, can we actually tell them what we said in that meeting when, we, when, when I picked up the bottle of juice? I can't remember. And <laughs> Didn't you say, what the fuck's that? Wait, the guy had about 15, 20 bottles of juice. He looked at me and I said, what juice is that, mate? And he went, oh, so and so. And I said, yeah, exactly. Ours is TYV, mate. <laughs> and, then, like, and the guy like actually shut up about it. But I'll tell you what we'll do, right? For the next, I don't know, we're meant to finish here. But let's have some other questions. Let's see what we're about. Let's, let's ask Paul something or whatever. Go on, ask away. Are you a cunt? No. Oh, fucking hell. We got right to the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right yeah. to the end. That was one of the words that I got told I wasn't allowed to say. No, you can say it, but in good context. Oh. And that was good context. You have actually got a 60 mil coming out, but it's, you can't say it, can you? Is that still a thing? Yeah, I've got a 60 mil. Yeah, yeah, coming out. See, this fucking loses me every time. The thing thing. Oh, the thing. F- yeah. The oh, you twat. You, you clickbaited me then. I thought you was on track. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. We probably do have, I think we do have 60 mils coming out. I can't remember what they are. They'll just have to double check with his staff before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'll just have to ask the guy. Stu, do we Yorkshire accent? Actually, the other day, I said Sen. Sen. Miss Sen. I said Sen, yeah. Can you say A up love? A up love. All right, mate. How's it going? How's it going? You all right? All right. Dixon, so, who's here the best by gum, can you belly touch your bum? Uh, Paul's definitely <laughs> going to vouch for himself on that question. I'm going to vouch for you all picking me. Let's have Stop a poll us. right now. Who's the best looking? Me. <laughs> Jive with the fucking them eyes I'll every time. It, I, I was the lighting. I was the lighting on my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best singer? Probably Dale. Probably Dale. <laughs> Probably Dale. Dale can actually. Uh, he's got a palette in him. Oh God! Uh, the what? Christmas do we all went to karaoke? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! I said I want drinking dinner, Paul. Oh yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want a beverage or two? Oh my word! So I've got. I a... says I'm not drinking the next minute. It's like five minutes after <laughs> being out. There's videos on YouTube and Facebook of him posting and me singing <laughs> on karaoke. Chris, we've already got a sixty mil range, dude. We are bringing more out. I just can't remember what the after drop. If you keep your eye out on the screen behind the uh, and so now the fifty mil gummies does pop up on there. Paul don't yeah. work for TWV. Paul's a Paul's a semi YouTuber and a bit of an influence on Facebook and he's sponsored by us. But oh, fucking Where? hell, that's a good question. I never oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who definitely not mine. Headline? Definitely it's not, not me. me. It's definitely not, but it's got to be Stu, and Stu's receding. Yeah, Stu's probably got... Get your head head. No, I'm not getting out now. Go on, go on, I'll get mine. This, this, no, hang on a second. Absolutely before you do that, not. Paul, you Paul do is the best looking, you mad. This room is filled with four people, all receding, but only one mad? who's accepted it. And it's the one without his fucking hat on. I've accepted the fact that I am going bald. The other three, who are all older than me, haven't accepted it yet. I suppose we're all getting old now. I'll, I will do. So can I just say, you, you're on your third. Dale's yeah. 30 Saturday, guys. 
Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. In there. Sure, how old are you? Lads, if you wanna if anyone wants to send Dal a present, right, go to it on Google. Google the Yorkshire Viper yeah. Pudsey. There's the address. Send him some shit, man. You know that, that, Saturday. that ain't a bad idea that why don't we get somebody or if anyone's watching that wants to send us some in for us next show yeah. that we could review. Drop us a message. Well, Drop us a yeah. message. I've actually done that a couple of times. It'd be good that wouldn't it? You know, like if you've got some cakes, I would like it like gift wrapping so we yeah. don't know what's in it. What if somebody sends us a box of buns? I'll tell you what I'm going to do, actually. I am actually going to post these tomorrow. I'll post the address of the shop, and if anyone wants to kindly send them That's fine, because you're, you're over half worse than other people. Yeah, but they, they could open, open it. Them, no. I'm not opening them. Right. What if there's uh, somebody out there that makes their own mods that wants to send, like, four in for us to try? Uh, That'd be a pretty sick idea. Yeah, you sound like a free sheet on that. To be yeah, fair. Yeah. <laughs> We're giving away free stuff, so we'll get some in return. I'm not but, picky, but it has to be stab wood. Yeah, yeah. We, we're not finishing now, but I'd just love to say. You don't have to sell me up, but I've always fancied a Mustang. Yeah, like, if you want to sell me If anyone out there, if Mr. Beast's in here, like, <laughs> please Beast. feel free to, set, to uh, get me the, the bullet edition, though, because, I mean, I don't give me a shit one. You're not yeah. picky, though. I think I'm not, if I'm not somebody... Picky, the bullet would be nice. If there's somebody out there that's watching this that has their own business that wants us to try something, whether it be, like, food or clothes or something like that, or just would you like in. to see any challenges? If what it's very competitions? It. Or anything? if there's anyone out there that's got a business and you want to come on this podcast and get involved and be a guest and have a chat with us then drop us any of us a message and not we're not ending rightly second but i would just like to say thank you to the to the solid 60 plus people that have stayed in this podcast and everyone that shared it you guys have been mad and for uh, commenting we haven't got yeah. through everyone's comments but we appreciate the fact yeah. that i don't you think we're expecting that much interactiveness on the first one to be yeah fair. i'm the best driver just saying yeah. Stu's you not. Are. i'm not going to say jason isn't but i'm going to say Stu isn't I'm not. I'll put me on my a bike. My car was slower than yours, and I beat you. Put me on a bike. I'll smoke all year. I can't ride a bike. My mate actually asked me a question earlier. Stu, do you dye your beard? No. Uh, you can vouch me on that one. No, he doesn't dye it. He's the greys are coming through. Yeah, and when are we getting another bike? See, we were going to stream this in 4K, but Stu, because of his beard and he's a bit touchy and that, he made us do it in tight so you couldn't see it. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys, man. Thank you to Did everyone. Did you my and Neapolitan fucking thing going on here? See, I'm copying this thing. It's just though. ginger, mate. Yeah, you look Amish, bro. I, I really look like <laughs> I've got eyebrows. You know, I just really want to say something. Because I know my mum's, like, watching now, yeah. Me but mum, stop fucking phoning my phone. Just stop. You're watching it. You know what I'm doing. Just stop phoning my phone. I don't think she's watching. She is. You could turn your phone off. Great, Cass. I just had to ignore her. Guys, we're going to be doing this <laughs> every Monday at 7 o'clock. Uh, we are going to be doing lots of other things. We're going to smash our reds together. If anyone comes up with ideas, comment, post on the Yorkshire Viper page. Uh, you all know where we are. You all know how to get in touch with us. What about spin the wheel? Uh, spin the wheel. Well, I'm down. Have you got a wheel to spin? Yeah, we've got mul- we've got a wheel yeah. here. We got multiple. We wheels. have got some challenges and things like that lined up, which we got, we've got out there. Which uh, don't involve like hot stuff. Nah, hot stuff. <laughs> That's well, definitely one of the challenges. Well, two hours that destroyed me for earlier. This is actually your podcast, guys. So you tell us what you want to see, man. Yeah. What you happened mean? earlier on, Paul? Um... Jason had this, uh, what would it call? Psycho, psycho sauce. Yeah, yeah, psycho sauce. And um, I didn't want to take any on my fingers. So I let him drop the pipette on my tongue. And whilst he was it's dropping like, it on my it's tongue. It's Mad Scoville unit yeah. in strength of A million, spice. I think. It's a million. Whilst he dropped it on my tongue, the pipette actually touched my lips at the same time and it destroyed me for like two hours. So whilst Paul was crying in the other room with a glass of milk, I took his mod and I laced his uh, drip tip with this psycho <laughs> yeah, sauce. With your ass. Yeah. Straight up in ring. That's probably really? the reason why it lasted for two hours because I was vaping it coming back from Keithley. <laughs> he ran and me I was ta- like, Did you I'll, lace my fucking mod? I was taking <laughs> lungfuls and my throat were like burning. I was like, What's going on here? I actually asked. Just it. to clarify, I didn't put it in his mod, it was just around. <laughs> not, around not in, but around the tip. Around the tip. <laughs> Yeah, well, this is our first one, and uh, you know, we, it's been quite informative. We've had some decent chats, but we are. Looking on doing a lot of different things. I mean, we want to have some JB, you need to bring that spicy stuff up because that were really good stuff. Yeah, we're going to do stuff like that. Oh, I'm out of the spicy thing, but we will do challenges. We I will think have you guests. Are. Chilly. <laughs> we, I am, I'm out. <laughs> you think you are. But yeah, guys, you all know, uh, you know, we are the Uxha If you want any of these stuff, you know where to go. If 
there is any shop owners in this chat, <laughs> please feel free to contact me directly if you would like Stuart to see Matthew any of the Facebook. following lines. Or if your local shop doesn't have any Yorkshire Vapor products, please beg, Unlikely. get in touch. Keep throwing our name out there and get your shop owners to stock us. Also, yes. if you want to drop in the shop or buy online, and make sure you use code, code Vapes. Paul15. <laughs> I, I, like, we, we I should get, only allow it no, once. But what I get is like, <laughs> fuck you guys, use Dale 30 for not percent off. <laughs> you have all got fucking discount codes, but you all plug them on top of mine. But everybody knows that mine's a better discount code. You shouldn't be, al- you, you know, because your discount code is the better one, you shouldn't be allowed to throw it al- around loosely. Of course, I'm the fucking social media you, manager. You should be able to do it on Facebook. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You wouldn't have a code if it wasn't for me. <laughs> to be fair, he did push for that. <laughs> Yeah true. yeah, true. But you you were the one that were like, the first day like I became like a, a representative, you were like, Paul, 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 be my best mate. On that note, guys, uh, <laughs> 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 nah, but on a serious one, man, you guys have been legends, man. Every Monday, 7 o'clock, make sure you tune in. Go and follow our Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, share the feeds out there and get 500 likes on his feed and that ginger cunt at the end will get a nipple piercing. Are we going to get um, an uh, audio-only version of this? Uh, no, we don't expect look. a message tomorrow, I, Sam. I'm looking at the memory card that I needed to do that. So what I'm going to have to do is take this video, <laughs> take the audio off of the video, mm-hmm. and then publish it on other formats, which will be published and we'll let you know where. What are we talking? Like Spotify, iTunes? You should do a drunk yeah. podcast. <laughs> Those places. Those things, Spotify yeah. would be good. Spotify would be good. I don't know what Spotify <laughs> is, but I hear a lot of people uh, doing podcasts on uh, Spotify. You know where you look really close in the mirror and you just kind of assess? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, thank you very much for watching guys really appreciate it we'll thank you very it. much is it 7 Peace o'clock out. yeah 7 o'clock every Monday man and these are going to be every Monday Dale and it's also Dale's birthday on Saturday get them fucking gifts sent why? to that shop hang on why Dale please you... drop us messages yeah, good, we will that. send you the what address if... I'll send you the warehouse address if you want to send them here please send them gift wrap because I don't even want to know yeah. what's in them Dale would like to open them I'm live on the podcast with... Let's get you a load of presents sent in for the next oh, one. Oh, yeah, I'm Am going. Right, mate, in fact, this week. No, shush. No. It can't because have a pulse, Now, though. we're taking control. This week, we are going to push hard as fuck, guys, for you to send Dale gifts for this Saturday and I will live feed him open. How many likes has this video had? I don't know. I'm not really following. Right, right, guys, here. before everyone leaves, can you just press like quickly? Just so we've uh, got those numbers up. Because if we get to 500, Paul is going to get his nipple pierced live on Does the show. Does it bleed? Does it bleed? Of course it does. You have a fucking needle for your nipple. Mine didn't bleed. Well, you, you ain't got blood, Jeff. I ain't got blood. <laughs> Dead. I don't know if I could deal with it. Oh, that. shit. James Burner building. Jim, we've been talking about you, mate. Does it make your nipple really sensitive? Like for ages. A, a drunk it, podcast. Man. It's when it got when it when it that gets could cold get messy though. Up the ring. He can't handle his beer. I don't he gets think. aggressive. I can handle beer. Get aggressive. I don't get aggressive. I'm a lover. Who can't handle the beer? You. I can't. You get fucking Larry when you're sober. I just I know it just goes down too easy. Like you get pissed <laughs> quick and. <laughs> Get really angry. Yes, presents incoming. Angry. I, I've never seen him angry. He always I've looks right, got, Mary. I got angry once. I just danced and, and just over. party and just. You know when I fell over on Brigitte? Oh, fucking hilarious. Oh, yes. Was, he my he hit the deck. Boom. And then he were up. I've just oh, like, realised. I was ready. I was r- I was in a bad mood. I was, I was Sorry, convinced Dale. this guy w- was wanting to fight me. So I'm walking down Brigitte <laughs> shouting at me. This guy had no idea. He not wanted to fight. I was just that pissed. I was convinced he wanted to do something. I'm going to kill him. My left leg kept going. My right one stopped. And I went down like a sack of shit. I have actually just realised what James Blair's comment was about. And Chris from ODB Raps. Oh, oh, we got someone from ODB. <laughs> James <laughs> Burr. Bear in mind, James, I swear to God, I will send is you it, something back. It, Chris, message me. I'll get warehouse address. Yeah. Did you know that Chris ordered uh, Josh a goat? Look, it was a thing. He bought him a goat. What, a real life goat? A goat. Yeah. Where yeah. is it? It's in well, the sanctuary. He, Josh shit himself because Dale thought he thought, oh, fucking hell, there's a goat going no, to the shop. No, Dale oh, told do- a Josh idea, there it? was a goat in the shop. Oh, Josh was shitting himself. <laughs> He's like, no, I told Chris not to do all. So Chris sent this goat to an animal sanctuary instead, and he's got all the paperwork. He's adopted this goat. He's, he is he's the foster. He's the dad. To- so does he have to go and like give it a bale of hay and stuff? Is that what is that? Well, well it depends. No, it's just, yeah. He's just his dad. 
a lot of people are going for this drunk podcast, you know. The drunk podcast, but forget the drunk podcast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's Dale's up. big 30th you... birthday Saturday. Guys, I am going to push so hard to get in some presents. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, do, I would like to see presents coming in, though, guys. The most creative gift. Yeah. You've got to wrap it with perfection. Yes, so. and mark it Dale, because Dale will just say, can you open it? It's something away. Please, door. please write Big D. Big D. And big, Jane. big D, man. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be a fucking... Yeah. Get Paul to record you saying that and put it on there. Yeah, but on that note, guys, you guys have been fucking legends. That never worked. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. That's a mysterious one for the present opening. In fact, what we'll do is dun, dun, dun. I know it's your birthday on Saturday, but what we'll do is all the presents that come, uh, you can send them over the weekend as well. We'll open them Monday. What day? What day is the surprise party on? Saturday. Saturday. Is I can't wait to see his face. His face. Oh, that was, yeah. That was <laughs> surprise. <laughs> 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 but Monday guys what we'll do is if every present that gets sent to the shop we will open live Monday Dow can open them on his podcast fuck it I'll put it out there Tracy fucking hard paper round thanks make sure you Much leave a note in this present as well so we can give you a thank you after yeah make sure you yeah. leave a note and send him anything or a return yeah, to sender man, address you putting your name in there you will get a fucking thank you reciprocated based on what's in it because chances are if you send it to me I'll have your address yeah, so you won't send it to me send it to the shop address no, I'll have their address. If it's someone watching, we will have sent them something before. I'll have their address. Can't we just give the address out now? Well, well, well no, yeah, it's 19. No, minutes I, over and I am dying for the toilet. Yeah. So on that note, guys, every Monday, 7 o'clock, I've said it and I'll say it again. Uh, see you next Monday, live opening. And everyone wish Dale a happy birthday for Saturday, man. Happy birthday, Dale. Peace out, one love. T-Y motherfucking V. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Thank you call? very much, guys. <laughs>